Okay, looks like it's all recording. Welcome back, everybody. We're all set up. We're all comfy. We got a new bear in the corner. I managed to get out the uh, the sleepy teddy because I don't think I've shown this one yet. On this uh, series, of course. Wait. Oh. Did I just get an encounter in the line of sight? I think I did. That almost never happens. But I know that can happen in a lot of games. Even Gen 1. Let's do it. Hey, there we go. 531. He's got the lucky egg, so he gets boosted. Oh, no, not line of sight. Oh, wait, I think I beat this person before I landed last episode, didn't I? Yeah, I did. I said I'd poke my head up and fight one trainer. Well, let's move on. Here comes Tynamo. Yeah, you have to be very careful not to select Dig on the party me menu, because even in Gen 5, there's no Are You Sure option. This thing doesn't have Levitate yet, right? I'm pretty sure it's only its Evo, right? It's... Yeah, okay, it does. Take it out. Well, I guess we're going back to the, uh, the doctor right away. Break it apart. Make that scum pay. This is always okay, don't worry. I took a couple of steps. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna use a Paralyze Heal. Oh, hang on. We need them all while. We caught Sableye last time, so let's catch this. No Intimidate on this one. Hmm. Dragon Claw wouldn't kill it. Oh, it has Thunder Punch? Oh, mine I would enjoy this small while. Get that little boobable thing. Before it causes trouble. Oh. Oh. I guess we are going back to the doctor. I look. I just started, and we already have fantastic RNG. Hmm, pardon me. Voice crap in the middle of that. Okay, then. Um, I'll hit it with try attack and hope I burn, freeze, freeze it or something. <laughs> this is great. This is what we're here to do. We're here to catch Pokemans. And be comfy. Be like the teddy in the corner. Fall asleep. Let's do that. Or actually, don't do that. You need to pay attention, because this is some hardcore content here. Hardcore challenge run. No, it's okay. I know lots of people fall asleep while watching my streams. Some people think that's an insult, but I, I don't I don't mind. Lots of people put on stuff in the background as, like, white noise while they, uh, sleep. Um... Let me just throw the dust ball at it. Let's do that. Don't fall asleep. First subscribe, then fall asleep. That's right, Salberts. We should do that. Come on. Okay, 159. Let's do it. 159, everybody. If I could just find my list. There we go. Attached to the head is a huge set of jaws formed by horns. It can chew through iron beams. The deceiver. Send it to the box and forget it exists like Sableye. No idea if the base stats have been changed for that duo, by the way. All right. Let's finally fight this person. Thank you, Fertilizer, for the resub. If I win against you, release your Pokemon. And that's two whole years of teddy bears, that's right. I'm glad you all enjoyed the streams for so long. Plasma Grunt has Electric. Well, we know I can't hit that. As we all can tell, it's clearly levitating. Let's do it. You passed your job interview, that's good. Hope it goes well. Ooh, that's good. Bayonet. Um, I'm gonna let Ursaring do this with Bane Attack. Ursaring's the lowest level, so it needs a boost. I got a good team together. Something I always kind of dislike about the midpoints of Pokemon games is you kind of have your team set in stone. So a lot of the Pokemon you can find now are just kind of unappealing to add. It's like, hmm, do you want to train an Elekid up now? It's like, not really. Well, my attack power's lowered, but... Can do this. 
Yeah, this game existed before Mega Mawile and Mega Sableye, so... Damn it. Am I gonna get killed here? Probably. Annoying. Okay, good. It's always weird how, like, Bayonet's Gen 3 sprite makes it look so tiny. It looks ridiculously small. But every other one, like, makes it look like a normal size. Prodons. I'm gonna send back in Fracture now. Ursaring got their battle. And just barely survived. Hmm. Here comes Crawdont. Is Crawdont's mouth open? No, it doesn't look like it. I told the story a billion times, but I always thought the, um, the blue part was its mouth, and it was like some big blue lips on it. Meanwhile, that opening, uh, between, like, the white parts and underneath the star there. That's where the mouth actually is. Oh, knockoff. Oh, you jerk. He took off my lucky egg. Ursaring probably did survive because level up. Or wait, no, it didn't get the level up until it won the one. What am I saying? Oh, it survived the burn because of level up. Yeah, you're right. Never mind. Plasma, I'm mortified. I'm sure you are, friend. I'm sure you are. A couple of steps in the cave. Oh, well, again. Let's use Dig on this one. I keep my lucky egg. Don't worry. It's not like Gen 2. Gen 2 is weird because no enemy Pokemon, no thief, right? However, Gen 2, due to the way Gen 2 is programmed, in ROM hacks where they give Pokemon thief, if they take your lucky egg, it's gone forever. And that crap is awful. You see. You see the oo face on Nose Pass? Two steps, battle. Oh, Dino! <sighs> okay. Um, that's cool, but I have the better dinosaur right now, basically. Wait, you have Intimidate? Did Dino always get Intimidate? I don't think it did. And what do I have? Rivalry. Don't know you want take I'm keep I'm going for the Haxorus. I'm not training this thing. Normally has hustle. Damn. Okay, let's fall swipe and catch it. If it has like a godlike nature, I'm gonna be so salty. A dark pay up pulse there. Hydra uh Hydragon gets levitate. Okay. We're going back to the doctor anyway, so I can take some hits. Three headed dragon, but Haxorus is cool too. got slam. Okay. Let's throw this in. Oh, critical capture. Come on. There we go. Cool Pokeball it's caught in too. 160. New milestone reach chat. Okay. It tends to bite everything, and it's not a picky eater. Approaching it carelessly is dangerous. Nice. Um... No nickname. Yeah, you don't find it until Victory Road, which is lame as heck. I don't remember where you even get Axew in vanilla black and white. Let's get moving. Okay, Tynamo. I think I should just run away from this thing. <clears throat> Pardon me. All of a sudden, I'm home back to cough. I don't want it hitting me with, um, uh, yeah, paralysis or anything like that. A lot of, a lot of grunts up ahead. Let's do it. Pokemon living in Chargestone Cave are beautiful because they are free from people. And what's it called when you enslave your Pokemon, hmm? Hmm? It's in the cave where you find Cobalion. Okay, so as soon as you have Surf, you can get Axew. Fair enough. Not to mention, level 48 is pretty reasonable for a final Evo Dragon. Let's do it. Everybody is just in the way right now. Yeah, let's go. 
By the way, I don't think I got a chance to mention on recording yet, but we got the, um... I was out shopping today, right? And I got the 10 ears of squash -a -mello. It is currently to the side of me right now. It is within hugging distance if I need it. It is very squishy, and it is a little friend. Of course, when I go shopping and I see Teddy Ursa, I'm going to spend all my money on it. Well, what else am I supposed to do? Not do that? Let's hit this. Yeah. Pardon me, my nose was just really itchy all of a sudden. Okay. I think I'll let Houndoom hit this one. Um... Wait, it's Cacturn, so I could close combat. Eh, you know what? Just let Houndoom do it. I have a teddy problem. What, what are you talking about? I don't have a problem. You have a problem. I'm sorry, what's the, what's the problem here? That I like Teddy Ursa? Is that is that a problem? I'm saying problem too much. There are a lot worse things in this world to like than cute bears. 1688. Mighty Anna. Um, I'll send Fracture back in. There you go. Hit with the Dragon Claw. Teddy is not a drug. Teddy is a hug. Uh-oh. That's annoying. <laughs> Boy. I think Teddy Earth is the only bear plushie I have. All my other plushies are like other Pokemon or Moomins. Look at that. Personally, I think chat has a, a problem for spamming uwu emotes. <laughs> Oh no, Plasma. Yeah, we did it. Let's keep moving forward. Holy crap, moving forward three steps at a time, apparently. Plasma. There it is. There it is. I'm gonna hit it with Full Swipe first because it has Sturdy. Oh, that sucks. It's fine, I'll just use a Paralyzed Heal after the battle. Yeah. Don't worry about the nose. This nose can't do anything. Dang, not even worth the lucky egg boost, to be honest. Okay, let's go ahead here. We shouldn't have any more problems with this episode. Uh, the, the issue with Last VOD was, um, Driftvale's music has been claimed because people are making a bunch of memes with it again, and I didn't want to bother dealing with it. Let me see here. So I just edited it so I could just upload the darn VOD. Let me see. No one seemed to really mind. All I really had to cut was the parts where I was standing in the middle of Driftvale, looking at the party, unaware of letting the music play. Let me see. Hang on a second. Oh, kiss was 41. That's okay, then. Let's keep going with Fracture. Because I want to get Haxorus pretty badly. You, you're the trainer my lord N is worried about. They have power. Heck yeah. Teddy bears are awesome. I've gotten a few Teddy Ursus from that one particular shop. That particular GameStop gets in some Pokemon merchandise, and... They've had Teddy, the smaller Teddy Ursa plushies before, but this time they had the big, like, Teddy Ursa Squashamellos. They had two of them on display. They also had the Clefairy ones, but who cares about that? So I made sure I picked it up, and it was awkward as heck to carry it around and get it back to the car, but it's Teddy Ursa. We needed it. I don't have a camera, but you can't see it, but... Well, no, you can see the Teddy in the corner. That's a different one. You can see a bear at all times in this series. Excellent. Oh, right. Aftermath. Forgot about that. Bears are always worth it. Heck yeah. That's some big attack gains right there. Wheezing, it's probably gonna go boom. So I'm just gonna switch. We might need to run back to the doctor. I'll send out Togekiss. 
You have a ten years to plush you with you on the couch? Heck yeah. When I'm able to finally, like, um, renovate again, uh, renovate again, bleh, I'm biting my tongue here. Um, I want to set up, like, my living room with a bunch of new furniture and stuff, and have a big couch where I can have plushies on the ends and sides. That'd be awesome. Double hit. Ouch. It's only wheezing. Look at it inflate and deflate. Yeah, pardon me. I think I'm actually about to sneeze. Uh. I think I'm good. Hmm. I muted in time. Professional streamer over here. You may have beaten me, but you still know better than the other trainers around here. When you're streaming, your likelihood of coughing or needing to sneeze increases by like 10 billion percent. Scientifically proven. Excellent. Well, I don't have this. Hang on. See if it survives a Dragon Claw. This entire level up thing is... Yeah, this thing evolves by level both times, I'm pretty sure. I've ne I don't know, I've never actually used Clink in my life. There we go. Remember, chat, can't spell Clink without Kink. That's a completely meaningless statement, but it's true. You can't tell me it's not. Throw it. You know what really grinds my gears? Pokemon are just grinding gears. There we go. Come on. Since you're talking a lot more, you would normally... Uh, sorry. Since you're talking a lot more than you normally would, you would probably are a lot more likely to cough and sneeze. I had to reread that for a second. Hmm. 38 for Clang, 49 for Kling Clang. But this is Unova. I thought it was level 79 for the final form. Two mini gears that mesh together as are predetermined. Each will rebound from the other mini gears without meshing. Okay. Now let's put 161. Excellent. Hydrate. Don't tell me what to do. You're telling me to be healthy? How could you? I needed that, though. Hmm. Maybe I'm a little tired from all the running around earlier. Excellent. Oh, I didn't grab this. Get a little stretch in while we're at it, too. <clears throat> Pardon me. What's over here? I think it's just ledges, but I may as well check since we already healed. Okay. I think I should just avoid Nose Pass. It has Sturdy, it can paralyze me, and it's not worth the EXP to kill. Excellent. Okay, it's just another winding path. Another dino. I couldn't find a single dino last time. I guess it must be pretty rare. Should be able to one-shot it with just Dragon Claw, though. Excellent. By the way, chat, I think in general, I'm still having a pretty fantastic week. We're still doing short streams, and um, this is going to be the only thing I'm planning to play today. But I've been able to get a lot done, and also with yesterday, I talked about on stream getting, um, potentially getting like a VTuber model in the future, and people were overwhelmingly supportive about that, which I appreciate, because I wasn't sure about that. I assumed everybody would just say cringe. Not like I'd use it for every single stream anyway. But what's on a related note though, right? Um, I haven't commissioned art in quite a while, right? And apparently like Twitter is like really awful for that now because if you even post the word commission, you get flooded with like porn bots. In fact, I tried that earlier today and I had to delete the post because I got multiple DMs from bots within minutes. And it's like, really? Even if you, like, try to, like, cover the word in a certain way to, like, uh, get around the bots, they have bots to cover those, too, which is super lame. As a proud member of Team Plasma, I'll gladly battle with you. And we go. Oh, I just want to do it for a bit because it looks fun. That's really all it is. all there is to it. My say... Okay. 
Before I even think of having anything to even put on the side there, aside from a bear. Chat, don't worry, you'll still get your... Yeah, you're still gonna have regular streams. I just wanted to do some extra stuff this year. Because I was realizing I've been streaming for almost half a decade the, to this month. And I thought it'd just be nice to do something... Yeah, mix it up a bit. Because I just kind of realized I keep kind of sticking to doing the same stuff for myself. It feels too safe. Let me see. Let's do it. Bots are pretty bad now, yeah. They were bad in the YouTube comments as well. There was a time whenever I'd upload a video, like any VOD to the other channel, within seconds there would always be like two to three bots I would have to delete. Pretty wild. Heck yeah. Come on. Incinerate. Not to mention chat, I was also talking about this the other day, um... When it comes to commissioning art, I haven't done that for a good while, because I had, um, some issues in the past where I commissioned someone and they gave me traced art, and I was pretty pissed about that. Because I found out much later on, right? Um, I'll send out Ursa Ring. And then a bit after that, I ended up, like, commissioning someone and they just decided to, like, disappear from the internet. Oof. Oof, indeed. So that left a bit of a sour taste in my mouth for wanting to, like, uh, commission stuff. Come on. Someone gifted you a sub. That's wholesome. Drill peck. You're gonna be fine, little teddy. You're gonna be fine. Slash it. Two, two, six, seven. As a proud member of Team Plasma. All I did was turn. Oh my. Gen 5 encounter rates. It never stops to am it never stops amazing me every stream. Oh, come on. There we go. I'm stuck. Come on. Damn it. Oh, boy. Wild Nose Pass appeared. Let's run. Got away safely. Let's do that. Oh, nice. Hey, that takes care of Electivire when the time comes. An open world version of Unova should have areas flooding with Pokemon to reflect the encounter rates. That would just be Blueberry Academy, right? Just make a mod for and use it in Blueberry Academy where the Pokemon are just swarming around you. Go in that charged stone cave ripoff. Wait, oh no, I need to push the thing. What am I doing? The hope of Team Plasma has nothing to do with you. Excellent. Excellent. By the way, Chad, I've also been drawing a little bit, too. Kind of felt nice, because, like, um, I was kind of tr trying to draw details just to use as references for when I commission stuff. I find the best way when uh, to do that is just to, like, make a reference yourself. So you can eat more easily describe what you want. Let's do it. I pulled out the dusty sketchbooks I haven't used in a billion years. Let's see... The last times I really drew every day probably wasn't until I... Probably wasn't back in... When I was back in college, that's what I'm trying to say. Since then, it's just been very sparingly since I drew anything. Hey, there we go. Two more levels. What was that? You're too strong. 1680. The more you look at the sleepy bear, the cuter it is. Look, he's got the little pillow, he's got the little cap, he got the little Zs. Even got the little paw in the mouth. Thank you. There we go. Challenged by Team Plasma Boy. He's got garbage. Alright, let's do it. Perfect. I guess to be fair, like, I didn't commission the Teddy Ursa emotes. Uh, mods gifted them to me. Commissioning them in secret. There we go. They're very cute, though. 
Most art I get is just from random emails of fan art. I appreciate it a lot, though. It's, I'm always very grateful when I get that. But I feel like I'm bad at showing how grateful I am. Like, um... The best I can be like is like, Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah, okay. Thanks. I remember one time, back when I went to, like, uh, Super Smash Brothers events with my brothers, um... It was at our locals. There was one time this guy came up to me. He's like, are, are you Picaspri? And I'm like, oh, yeah, that's me. And he's like, dude, I'm a big fan of your videos. And, like, I, I'm basically just, like, standing there awkwardly being like, oh, th th thanks, you thanks very much. <laughs> Not knowing what to say in situations like that. That was, like, the first time I was, like, recognized in person. Let me see. But generally, people there knew who I was because my brothers were more involved with that scene, so... They knew through the grapevine, like, uh, who I was. Okay, Ma Wiles here. I think I remember Dylan once told me he was at a restaurant with his buddies, and one of his friends was like, dude, did you see this video? And I think it was, like, my Ditto video. And Dylan was like, oh, yeah, my brother made that. He's like, what? <laughs> oh, no, it wasn't uncomfortable. I'm just awkward. There's nothing wrong with telling, going up to someone and being like, hey, I like your videos. I appreciate that. I just don't know how to react. I'm like a deer in headlights. There we go. Normal fan being excited. Now, if you walk up to someone and be like, I'm a big fan, can I have a lock of your hair? Now, that, then you have a problem. <laughs> okay. We're about to hit the next level. I got the lucky egg. I'm taking out these wild Pokemans. Plus, we're clearly going to need it for, um, for Skyla, considering how these gym battles have been going. Let's do it. Perfect. 1695. Ooh, nice. Perfect. Go downstairs first. Because I think this is the dead end. No? Wait, going upstairs leads back to that shortcut, so there could be an item there. I even visit this electrified cave to train myself in Pokemon. Alright. Let's do it. Boop, 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 boop. Hatsune Miku became an ace trainer in Unova. Dratini. This is a TM. You think it's... Wait, you think this is the dead ends? We'll see in a second, then. Oh my god, Hatsune Miku. It's really her. Heck yeah. 997. Right on. Um... I'll let Boopy do this. My low tech got enough experience by beating Clay. Clay was easily the like the cleanest gym battle I've ever gotten to do. I felt smart and all I did was use Rain Dance. Is that what Gen 5 competitive is like? And is is that sentence summarize it very well from what I hear? I felt smart, but all I did was use Rain Dance. <laughs> Replace Rain Dance with Drizzle, I think. There you go. 43. Okay, not bad. Executor. Did I have any bug moves yet? No, but it's not going to be able to psychic a cow doom. I know Gen 5 competitive was weather spam. Drizzle and Drought being infinite at the time they, uh, was kind of a big deal, I remember. Because this was the first time they, were, they weren't exclusive to Groudon and Kyogre. There we go. Okay, just incinerate. I say it every episode, but oh my goodness, do I hope Houndoom get Flamethrower eventually. Please. If we have any rough critical hits, the, the, the ten years to Squashamello is nearby, I can just give it a hug. Maybe I should make that a, a redeem in the future. Redeem to make me hug the bears. Oh. That's not Flamethrower, but I'll take it. Um, we do not need Roar. You see, Snarl can be backup and has the utility of lowering special attack. I did ask for this. Hi, Minard. How you doing? Electric Shock Racing. Me falling down. Don't worry, we've only been going like... Has it really been a half hour I've recorded? Holy crap. Dude, I lose, I lose track of time so easily streaming lately. That just means I'm having a good time, though. 
Mina couldn't raid. Yeah, um, she actually ended her stream, like, a minute or so before I started mine. So, well, I should have started earlier, that's all I can say. I'm going underground. Ouch, that hurts. Well, this is crap. Oh, now he uses dig. Well, I'm dead. Let's run. Couldn't get away. Cool. Ugh, oh, fantastic. It's gonna use dig or something again and outspeed me, probably. I'm just going to run. Done with this darn thing. And I'll just use a revive. The music gets slower the deeper you go into this cave. There, that'll do. Just a little bit more. I took one step. One step game. Oh! Uh, have I caught Joltik yet? I could save myself the trouble of evolving and just get this. Signal beam... Best was it? I'm wearing a critical dragon claw. Kill it. I'm gonna just go for it. I totally called the next hit would be a crit, didn't I? Where is my nest or er, net balls? Let's do this. Get in there. Okay, sick. 162, let's go. Do you think we could get the 200 today? That'd be awesome. Once we get out of this cave, we can probably start uh, really steamrolling a bit. Perfect. When attacked, they create an electric barrier by spinning out many electrically charged threads. There you go. This is fun. Hang on a second. Should probably heal you right quick. Yeah, yesterday's stream also went by super quickly. Um, I did four hours of Earthbound, and it was just such a fun time. I've really been enjoying my first playthrough of that. We're doing more of that on Saturday as well. Okay, here you go. <clears throat> Pardon me. Even an electrified place like this, if somebody challenges me, I'll take that challenge. That is an ace trainer. Oh, boy. Sunday is gonna be spooky day again. I'm still sticking to those. On the subject of Pokemon, um, Minor, you're actually here right now, so this is good. Um, I wanted to finally play uh, Sinners, I think, which is the horror game that Mr. Prinz made. Mr. Prinz is the dev of Pokemon Dusk, uh, Pokemon Dawn, and Pokemon uh, Night Nightfall. Hmm. Pardon me. Oh, it's just been a bit dry here. I couldn't really gauge how long the game is. People were telling me from Let's Plays Online it's like an hour or two. So I should be able to do it in one stream, I hope. Hang on. Hmm. Let's send Togekiss for this. Let's do it. Because last spooky day, I played the last door too. And. Oh, he yeah, has Sacred Sword. Holy moly. Good golly. Well, I'm screwed. This Farfetch is stacked. Acrobatics. This is where I get swept. Okay, hold my damn thought for a second. My low tick can do it. Yeah, last spooky day, I played Last Door 2, and I thought that would be like a four to five hour game, and I ended up doing like an eight hour stream, and I'm like, why did I do that? That was the end of the long stream week, too, where I said, short streams after this. <laughs> and I definitely had to keep my promise after that happens. It's fun, though. Glad I'm sticking to my word and playing one every week, at least. You see. I'm totally not just playing uh, Sinners as well so to tell more people to watch Pokemon Dusk and all that. Why would I do that? Cross-promote? Nah, nah, nah. See here. 
Maybe Dev can show up? Well, it'd be nice if they did, but they don't have to. You see. But, Minor, if you can find, like, a walkthrough just in case for that game so we don't get stuck, I hope it'll be fine. Sinners is not a Pokemon game, but it very much has the visual style of Game Boy Pokemon games, but legally distinct enough that it can be sold on Steam. And it, apparently, like, just nobody has played it. Here we go. I only know about it because you, you told me about it. <clears throat> Pardon me. Hypno. Mm, I'll... Um, I'll let Houndoom do it. I think I just got... He did just get Dark Pulse. Okay. Let's do it. Intimidate to eliminate. Forewarn. Forewarn is such a weird ability. It's like, it alerts you to super effective moves, but it's like, oh look, the dark type has a dark type move. Who saw that coming? Kill. I might have to rely on the flinch chance of Dark Pulse sometimes. Nice. Hmm, I'm electrified. Um, let me see here. Let's use up my super potions, why don't I? The important one is Fracture. We want to get that damn Haxorus. Gotta be AFK for a bit. That's okay, Mason. Hope you have a good time. Do, 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 do. Some people have told me they feel bad when they lurk, and I'm like, you don't need to feel bad. Let me see. Whether you're lurking or chatting, everyone's a good teddy. I'm not gonna be one of those people where I'm gonna sit here and be like, oh, you should be subbing if you're a real fan. I hate that crap. You should watch all my streams if you're a real fan. Wow, that sucks. <sighs> so much for healing. That ant is a demon. You know, maybe for this floor, we should just go ahead and use a repel or something. Like, come on. I got, like, a couple of regular repels. Let's use those. Bright powder. Okay, that's not that's not the worst thing in the world to put on. Especially for a gym battle. Now what's this? Oh, Excadrill. Um, well, I don't think remember if I caught a drill burr. But we do have dust balls left, could give it a shot. Here comes the earthquake. Yeah, chat, I... Listen, for me, when I do variety, I do variety because it's fun. So I don't really... I'm just not going to sit here and complain when everyone doesn't watch every single thing I do. You know? I can wish everything I, I stream will be popular. That's a different story. Let me see here. It's one of the reasons I don't really care too much about, like, um... Possibly making the beat that VTuber. Because it's like I do variety, so just add in more variety. Hang on. Throw this in. It's the internet. The more things change, the more they stay the same. Come on. Oh, wow, I caught it. I was expecting this one to be a hassle. Okay, go to 163. 63. Excellent. Gotta say it out loud so I don't misclick. You lurk 90% of the time? What's wrong with you, fake fan? Mods ban. Ban Lilac now. It can help in tunnel construction. Its drills have evolved to steel strong enough to bore through iron plates. See what I said a second ago? That was just a test to weed out the fake fans. And now you're all getting bopped. Your teddies have been revoked. You'll be banished to the wastelands for the Cleffas to feed on your bones. <laughs> there we go. Did you really think I, as a streamer, didn't think I was the most important thing in the world? There we go. You know what? I'm going back to the doctor. We got our ass beat a few times. And I have the repel active, so let's do it. 
Advantage to the Shadow Realm? Oh no, you're going somewhere much worse. There won't be any teddies there at all. Excellent. More video games. Okay. One more. I'll just use this last repel. Just so we can have a bit of a break from stuff. The ants downstairs were a pain in the ass, too. Bright powder was worth it. Let's go. All right, let's see what this has. Let's see. Music's picked up. Let's talk to this guy. I want to solve all the mysteries in the world. For that purpose, I'll keep fighting. Okay, Mr. Science Dude. Settle down there now. Challenged by Scientist Orville. Hero. He's gonna tackle, take on the whole world with a hero, and that takes guts. And when we're done with him, there's gonna be lots of guts all right on the floor. A dire hit. Hmm. Black and White 2 is the one, is the game that started using the, um, the instant repel prompt. Yeah, asking you if you want to use another repel, that's Black and White 2. Oh god, I didn't think this would happen. Take it out. Do it. Pidgeot, I'm gonna stay in and switch out. Look at Pidgeot doing that little head bop. I'm gonna go for Ancient Power in this. Mr. Pika Spray, are you the protagonist of our lives? I don't know if Pika Spray is. I'm certainly not. There we go. Now, I know that 99% of the time when I hear it in chat, you all are just jo making jokes about it. But to this day, I will... <laughs> to this day, there are people that unironically think my name is Pika Spray. No matter how much I correct them. Let's do it. Let's do that. Ancient power is not enough on its own, but it's good. I still remember when I was on Small Ant stream for the escape room. He had to come into our voice channel just because his chat kept telling him my name was Pika Spray that he needed to come in and have me say it on his stream. No, that's not how you say it. And he's like, thank you. He, need he needed me to shut his chat up because they couldn't say my name right. <laughs> that was so funny. I appreciate him, him making the effort to correct people on that. 1366. You did that first, too? Well, guess what? You're going to the Clef of Realm, too, soldier. There we go. Whether I win or lose, mysteries only happen. You'll be wait you'll be wandering the wastelands. You'll come across another wandering soul. Be like, what do you win for? I call them Pika Spray. That's the shortcut back, right? Yeah, okay. We don't want to do this. Watch his perspective. His chat actually started to convince him at one point. Oh, no! There we go. Streamer Gaslight, you tell me. Let's take out the plug, baby. It's gotta go. There we go. Oh, so close. Come on. I just gotta beat like one thing and I finally Oh I was looking at chat and I was holding down right. <laughs> Oops. Oops, maybe alright. Many different values mixed together and the world becomes gray. That is unforgivable. I will separate Pokemon and people, and black and white will be clearly distinct. Only then Pokemon become perfect beings. Yes, that is my dream. That is the dream I must fulfill. You have a dream of your own? Oh yeah? Want more bears? That VTuber art? You have a dream, that's wonderful. I'll learn just what kind of dream you have in battle. Uh-oh. New goal. Let Fracture survive. I'm probably gonna lose this battle now. That's what I get for glancing at chat while running one direction. Okay, probably safe to send in Boopy here. Hmm, levitate on you. Actually, Dark Pulse would be good for you if I could survive an electric hit. I'm 
going to pull it off and win. Watch me. Oh, so he's level 47? Uh-oh. They match the level of my highest levels. Holy crap. He's going substitute. Great. I need to lower his special attack now. He's gonna substitute the whole thing, damn it. Darn it. Snarl doesn't lower its thing through the, the substitute. Come on, I'm at minus one. I need a good hit here. Gen 6 started doing that, yeah. Darn. Well. Swords Dance. Swords Dance? You already have Dragon Dance. Wait, what? Huh? Oh, no. Oh, no. I know what this battle's gonna be now. And they're all gonna outspeed me, aren't they? Hmm. I'm gonna predict Oven. Track's no good here. I can still burn you, Copium. Oh no, don't rain dance anything but that. Please, please. Ooh, yes. Feel the burn, baby. Oh! I didn't think about that for some reason. Okay. Okay, he's taking burn damage. He's gonna go for a thunder again. Best to send in Boopy. Let's do it. Double unaffected, boyo. Finish it off. I took out two Rotoms now. How many How many more does he have? Does he have the whole party? Okay, my low ticks up. Nice. He's probably going to send an oven now in response to Boopy. So I'm going to send my low tick back in. However, they're all going to have thunder is the problem. I just realized as I switched them. No, he sent in the fridge. Of course he did. I'm gonna hope I outspeed you. No, he got Thunderbolt. This one goes for the bolt. Fantastic. Rain stopped. Okay. Um, chat, I always forget. Um, Rotom, when Rotom changes form, it always keeps electric, right? It loses Ghost. I can close combat if it loses ghost. I'm... Yes. Okay, thank you. I never remember which one it loses. It should be pretty obvious, because it's hitting me with thunder, but... I always question. All right, then. Let's go for it. All right, Teddy. Give him the hands. Oh, that's not good. No close combat. Oh, it didn't kill. Oh, so close. Only had one more level. He's not using potions. And they all have levitate. Yeah, which is fun. Even the flying one. Does Gen 5 let you evolve when you lose the battle. I can't remember when they changed it to do that. Okay, what's left? Uh, flying, lawnmower, and oven. Crap. 
Intimidate's not going to do anything in this situation. Let's just let my special defense work its magic, I guess. Okay, lawnmower. Damn it! Well. Now we hope I outspeed it. Probably not, because he's annoying as heck. I need to get the burn. Incinerate's too weak now. Okay, he's doing this. We're not gonna win this darn fight. Darn. Is it gonna send me all the way back to Drifail? That would suck. I'll have to buy some more repels and just run through the cave again. I actually outspeed you. Well, I paralyzed you. That's good. Well then. Of course I missed the Zen headbutt! do it. Make sure to mute immediately if I lose. Yep. Excellent. Reset so I have my um, confusion gone. Hang on. He's paralyzed so I can easily just hit him with... Um... Wait a second. If I send in Fracture, it absolutely can take a Thunderbolt or Energy Ball. I can Dragon Dance and set up to kill the next one. Leaf Storm. Of course. Of course. Thank you, Paralysis. <sighs> well, we've officially lost. How did he... Two Zen headbutts in a row I missed. Are you serious? <laughs> Are you serious? Hmm. During this this time of all times. Critical hit. I love Zen Head, but I love how many times it hits. Comes Rotom Fan. Boopy is not killing Rotom Fan and uh, Rotom Oven. I can tell you that right now. All confused. Yeah, he has more than Air Cutter. <laughs> oh, that's so lame, man. That is so lame. <laughs> oh. And of course, Fracture doesn't evolve. Man. He had a full team of Rotom, too. Damn. Well, now we need to make it put back. Let's buy repels and get back then, why don't we? Hurricane's 100% accuracy and rain, yeah. Mm -hmm. Max repels, yeah, get, just, just buy these for the game, why don't we? Clearly I'm gonna need them. Buy some full heals. Hyper potions now. Grab some of these for the road. I know there wasn't rain right then and there. I'm just saying, like, in general, that's what they meant. Okay, talking over Drift Bell theme. There we go. No problem. We can get back. We can get back. We can get back. Streamer is just a teensy bit salty from that situation. But I had my damn Haxorus if I just glanced over and realized that was the end. I thought the the end of the cave was still a ways away. And then, of course, he has... Do Rotomborns basically have legendary stats, or are they more average than I remember? I actually don't know. Am 
mutt turn turn the bike. Yeah. That insult to injury for not evolving. Okay, repels effect wore off. I need fracture to kill things now. Nah, no, they're not gonna be baited in to use overheat or leaf storm. It just seemed to go for Thunderbolt instead anyway. Noah's pass ain't worth it. Yeah, they all have clearly have a lot more coverage than their normal exclusive move. Like, normally the, the mower only gets Leaf Storm, but here it had Leaf Storm and Energy Ball. Let's go ahead and dig. We still have the Lucky Egg. We'll have to get some more levels across the board, too. If he beats me, he beats me. And that makes me a salty teddy. You know, maybe that's another teddy bear we need for the corner. Teddy Ursa, but he's doing like a little pout, like he's upset. Dreamer Angie. That. Fracture evolves at level 48, but I lost the battle, so it didn't evolve. That's why I'm a little pissy. <laughs> oh boy. Voltorb. No candy? Nah. Also, here's a good question. Um, do the Rotom forms have buff stats in this game? I actually don't know. They definitely have a buff move pool, that's for sure. We'll just get back at it. Maybe catch some Pokemans along the way. Get back to the doctor. Base Rotom got plus 20 speed. Oh. Dang. Nose Pass is the worst to fight. It has Sturdy and can Thunder Wave me, so I don't want to bother. There we go. We can do it. Lucky Egg will get us get us to where we need. Yeah, isn't- I think Rotom Wash is considered the best one. Also, normally Rotom Wash doesn't normally learn Rain Dance, right? It's clearly going to set up for Thunder. Hmm. If that's the case, I should send in Boopy for it. To just spam Leaf Blade until it goes away, because I can resist water and electric with that. Let's walk out of here, everybody. You think N really cares about the Pokemon? You, I feel like N of all people should see how sad it would make Teddy Ursa feel if he couldn't be friends with humans anymore. N clearly does not understand the bond between people. Apparently normal Rotom can just actually learn Rain Dance. Oh, okay, so then Rotom Wash can do that then, never mind. Then again, every Pokemon can learn Rain Dance for some reason. How much did you miss? Um, I got bodied by N, who has a full team of Rotom forms. And I missed my evolution chance for Fracture because of that. Excellent. Pokemon are not tools of war. Unless it's Pokemon Conquest, in which case they very much are tools of war. I don't want to play that game again. I kind of gave up on it, because um, I found a... Bleh. Hang on. I started it at a bad time. Here we go. I'm going to go underground. Let's do it. I wonder if there's any hacks or anything of Pokemon Conquest for more content. Weak armor. And now it speeds up. I'm gonna just send in Togekiss. I don't even care. It might dig on me. Oh, fantastic. Just keep buffing yourself, buddy. Just keep buffing yourself. Doctor's right around the corner. I just send in Togekiss because I don't want it using Dig. Wild Pokemon AI just picks a move at random. There's no strategy to it. Oh. 
Well, this is not the battle I want an ancient power boost, but okay. You say I do or don't want to play again. I would want to play a Pokemon Conquest again. There's a lot of games that I tried to play a few years ago, around the time that lockdown year started, and I kind of don't like never ended up finishing them because that was a. I don't think anyone was having a good time <laughs> around that time. So who can blame me? Let me see. I took one step. Just need to say that out loud. <laughs> one step. Let's go. You know what? The doctor's right there. I'm gonna t attack this nose pass. Sturdy. Let's get killed. What am I doing? Strength load again. Are those arms or ears? Oh, those are arms for nose pass. Absolutely. 541. Wow, taking extra steps now. Yay. Bug. I think I should just camp next to the doctor and hit Haxorus right now. I need some levels on other Pokemon, clearly, as well. Here I was thinking I could sweep the next gym leader, and I can't even take out N, because I was not ready for his team. It doesn't matter that they all share electric type because they all have levitate. Literally all of them are immune to the electric type weakness, so he pretty much has a full variety team, if you think about it. By the way, something I should mention, you know what's really disappointing? Shiny Rotom. When I played Renegade Platinum, I caught a full odds Shiny Rotom, right? Now the thing about Rotom is that it it's red and it has like um kind of like a peach peach colored aura now you know how like rotom's forms have a different color for each form shiny rotom has the same color for all forms so shiny rotom is just like one of the worst shinies because of that <laughs> what's that peach aura okay go into mower form where it's green nope peach aura <sighs> it's super lame there we go the worst part about that Rotom, though, was that it was adamant nature. Good golly, did that piss me off. <coughs> Ouch. I went to reach for my drink and I just, like, coughed. Ow. Ouch. Ow. That was a little close to the mic. I probably sounded like I was dying. Don't worry, streamer's alive. I still like bears. Ooh, woo teddy bears and all that. I used that shiny Rotom anyway. You're darn right I did, because it's a shiny, and it was full odds. I got it from the TV and the Turno Woods and everything. Like, Renegade Platinum has increased shiny odds, but I actually had someone look at PK Hex, and they determined that, like, it fell within the realm of full odds. It wasn't like... Yeah, the boosted, the boosted chance didn't apply to it at all. Kind of hard to explain how that works, but it was full odds. Let's do it. The Rotom was adamant about staying the same color. Yeah. Hang on. Hydrate or dihydrate. Well, there goes that. Okay, Durant. No, I'm not going to fight it. I'm getting close. Let's go. I have gotten a few full odd shinies while getting random footage for videos. There was that Hariyama I got. I worked it into the video to get more comments. Stretch and stretch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the more recently one, um, I was getting generic footage of the Pokemon Emerald Safari Zone for like a random video of just, just B-roll footage of, like, the character walking around, right? And I ran into a shiny Sunkern in the Safari Zone in Emerald. I think I just, like, made a tweet about it. Taking a screen cap, I was like, wow. Full odds. Hmm. Let's go. Mm-hmm. Sableye. 
This should be the last battle I can finally have my cool dino. Uh, no, probably one more after this, actually. I might need to set up with, um... No, they can, they can Thunder Wave me. No, you know what I should do? Ro we know that Rotom Wash comes out, um, second, right? I could probably even bait it faster by starting with Houndoom or something. Yeah, I could just use Dark Pulse on the first Rotom, or it's still Ghost. And then when Rotom Wash comes out, I'll send out Fracture, and I'll Dragon Dance when it uses Rain Dance first turn. And if it's gonna go for Thunder, it might paralyze me, but I might- I could probably resist that so I could get two Dragon Dances and just sweep the whole damn team. I don't feel like I can really rely on the variety of Pokemon for that fight, because he kind of sweeps me pretty easily. <clears throat> Pardon me. Holy moly. Also, I should update the counter. Yeah, Haxorus, baby. 164. Got a couple entries in the cave. I think we started at 158 today. Have a look. Price B for faster evolution? No, I don't think so. 164. There are no genders on the Rotom team, so rivalry is useless. Pretty good stats. Not as good special. Hmm. Speed is 121. Who's my fastest mon? Haxorus is my fastest. Haxorus does not seem like it would be a fast Pokemon. Hang on, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna give it Bright Powder. Unless you got a better idea of what to give it. And now I'm gonna give the Lucky Egg to Ursaring for a sec here. We know that Close Combat on Rotom uh, Fridge can almost kill the Fridge. So if I get a level or two, that should be good. We'll get that Dragon Dance sweep, tell you that. That's a mighty fine lawnmower and fridge there, I tell you what. Slash? You can't slash that, Teddy. Teddy slashes you. By the way, I saw a clip in the anime recently. This is one of the more recent clips when it was, like, ending with Ash. I think there's, like... There there's a clip of, like, um... They're in, like, some wintry-looking forest mountain, right? And there's a part where a bunch of Pokemon in the area start running away. And there's a clip of an Ursaring picking up a Teddy Ursa, putting it under its shoulder, and just running. I don't know, remember what the context was. Like, the Pokemon were just trying to flee the area, but I thought that was really cute. Like, it just picks up the Teddy Ursa and just starts running away. It's like, oh my god, it's adorable. How cute. Ursaring gotta protect the bears. Just like the Ursarings do in Legends Arceus. The ones with the scary red eyes just come out to murder you if you go near the Teddies. Excellent. Hopefully killing things here should be faster. Maybe I should go back upstairs. Maybe the encounters there will give more stuff, because I feel like I'm only finding the small fry. Remember earlier when I was running into Mawiles? What happened to those? The ones protecting the teddies from the evil streamer kidnapping them all. I'm not kidnapping them. I'm just re uh, recruiting them for friendship. <laughs> the teddies also attack on site. Yes, they do. The teddies approach you with a big goofy smile on their face, and then they start unleashing Earth Power. Let's see, did I see a blue bear? No, I didn't see the blue bears yet. I don't know if you post about that. Let's go. We're getting some EXP because N is freaking powerful. Let's do it. Bears aren't meant to be hugged, then why are they shaped like friends? Can you explain this, chat? I don't think you can. Let's go. Okay, nose pass didn't that one didn't have sturdy. Some of them don't. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, 
Oh, there's Magnemite again. If not friend, then why friend shape? Hell yes. Alright, let's rock this a little bit. Take him out. We're getting there. We're getting there. Ursaring has a good nature. Brave. At Ursaring's aren't not... It already isn't that slow. Or sorry, already that fast. So... Also, we have not encountered this. I may as well catch it. Can anyone tell me what level Pharaoh Seed evolves? Okay, it's going Leech Seed. That's a problem. Level 40? Okay, it shouldn't take long to evolve then. Spin animation for it is so clever. Let's see... Can't leech seed me here, I think. Gotta go, things getting convoluted at work. Alright, hope things go well. Here comes Mirror Shot. Can't remember if it's Gen 6 onward that you can't see grass types. Or if that's always been a thing. Let's do it. How many Dusk Balls I got? Eh, it's only Pharaoh Seed. Let's do this. It's always been a thing? Okay. That includes Sleep Powder and Stun Spore and all that. Okay, sick. We're having good catch luck today. Let's go ahead and put it at 165. 165. There you go. When threatened, it attacks by shooting a barrage of spikes, which gives it a chance to escape by rolling away. If there's any rare encounters on this floor, this is a good chance to look for that. Maybe I should try going back to the bottom floor again in case there's any rare ones there. I've pretty much looted this cave pretty efficiently, though. Mostly. I shouldn't use the word efficiently to describe that. Let's do it. We're gonna bulldoze the nose. Bully the nose. Okay, show me them gains, Teddy. Show me them gains. Ooh, plus four attack. That should probably guarantee that I can close combat the fridge. There we go. Get some more fighting in, though. What else is here? Just a tick. Problem is, they were all 47, right? Actually, I wasn't really watching the levels after I killed the first couple. My low tick isn't very useful in this fight, simply because, um... Uh, what's the issue here? Yeah, they're all, they all have thunder moves. Thunder or Thunderbolt. Comes this one. I do think we're gonna have to rely on Haxorus setting up Dragon Dance Sweep. My plan should work if I start with Houndoom to take out the first one, and Rotom Watch will waste time setting up. Because even with the critical hit, there's no way it can kill Haxorus. I'll probably save in front of the fight, though, because if he gets paralysis off the Thunder Spam, um, I'm probably just going to reset. So I don't want to walk all the way back to him again. Take him out. Excellent. Hello, Kiba. How you doing? There we go. You think if Teddy Ursus lived in Charged Stone Cave, they would evolve to be Electric type? They could be. I think Teddies could be whatever they wanted to be if they tried. But they're cool just sitting there eating honey. That's also okay. And it's booming. Ouch. Oh, it got a crit. Damn. took a couple steps forward. Bolt Teddy Ursa? That's right. Electric Teddy with a lightning bolt on its head. Hell yeah. Perfect. Psychic Teddy with an eye symbol on its head. You could just change the symbol on Teddy's head and it could be anything. Fine. Another critical hit in a row against my bear. Tisk tisk. We 
are getting there. Let's go back upstairs. I t oh, come on. <laughs> I, I every time I'm surprised when it happens. Teddy could not be dark type. They're not evil. Oh, you're right. Teddy would never. If a bear doesn't know how to share, then it's clearly not a Teddy. 505. That's too far away. Excellent. Oopsie. Damn it. The first ever negative review of Sinners was posted an hour ago. The review says something like, this is a time capsule of 2010's YouTube. Like, that's a bad thing. What, what, did someone just, like, listen to me talk about the game and go leave a bad review? Like, that's... That feels like it'd be a funny coincidence. Because I talked about it, like, an hour ago. Well then. Now we gotta play it despite that guy. Despite them, chat. Clefas are out there posting things. They shared a playthrough in the review. Okay. Oh, okay. No, they're just... All right, then. Well, good for them. I'll play it, my I'll play it myself and see what it's at. There we go. Couldn't get away. Come on. Well, it doesn't help, and I'm also stupid slow, that's true. Alright, fine then. Hit it with close combat. These ants are evil? Yeah, they're stupid fast, so I can't run away from them. And now it's doing that. It's gonna kill me. Can I run away now, please? Couldn't get away. Fantastic. I might dig, so I'm just doing this. Run. There we go. Ouch. Let's do it. Generally minored, I don't really look at Steam reviews. Because I find that, like, the that's the least helpful way to get an idea if a game is good or bad. There we go. Especially for indie games. Let me go. Come on. I'm just going for the attack right here. It's cold, wet, and snowing, and you had to walk in it. Do you use the last of your cocoa? Heck yeah, you should. Get some cocoa. Cocoa's delicious. It's also very comfy. Let's bulldoze. Heck yeah. Okay, another level for the Ursa. I think I need to get at least one level on the Houndoom now. Let me take a look at everyone. Doom is decently close. Okay, maybe Boopy as well. Togekiss can't really do a whole lot in the fight except die, I'm afraid. Because again, they have electric moves, so Milotic and Togekiss are just gonna die. Let's do this. Scope lens. Do this. Give you a lucky egg. There we go. Brought it up because they list uh because they list a major appeal as a bad thing. Yeah, I get that. 2010's YouTube, I miss that. That stuff had some baller games. Until they all just became slender clones. Let me see here. This is the worst thing to go up against as Houndoom, by the way. Maybe I can just take it out like this, though.
As a matter of fact, chat, I thought this indie game was quite shallow and pedantic. There we go. Back and forth, kids. Back and forth. Notice how the ants stop showing up the moment I put a fire type up front. Conspiracy? Coincidence? Probably. Excellent. Punishment. Not even sure if punishment really does anything. Break it down. Now, is this good enough? Ooh, that's a lot off Sableye. Maybe they do have buffed base stats if they're given that much more. Okay, this is fine. I mean, it's also Gen 5's experience formula, so Paxorus is getting a lot less simply because, you know, it's higher level. Punishment is that dark move you forget exists. <laughs> yeah, like, what is the point of it? Because if, like, if the opponent's gonna buff their stats, they're probably gonna buff their defenses, right? Using, like, Calm Mind or something, or Bulk Up? So what's even the point of, uh, using punishments if that defense... Like, yeah, your power goes up, but their defense went up already, so who cares? Unless punishment has the effect of hitting through that. If Houndoom's moves follow base gen 5, it should get Flamethrower at level 50. Oh. That would be nice. Sadly, that could take a while. I just want to at least get one level here. Excellent. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Okay, now let me finish Boopy's level, because it was close. And then we're going to go save in front of N and probably beat him. I'm making sure I'm topped up, because it's going to be a pain. Put the black glasses on. That Rotom is not going to survive that hit, that's for sure. Remember, though, last attempt when I missed two Zen headbutts in a row? What else is new? Meanwhile, Elisa can still hit ten focus blasts in a row. And yes, I'm never gonna let that go. I'm never gonna let it go, because it was bullcrap. Yay! And now suddenly Mawile's everywhere. Ooh, you boosted my attack. Thank you, Sailor. I guess I'll just Leaf Blade my way through ya. I hope this game gives me Flamethrower in a few levels, though. That would be nice for Houndoom. And Incinerate isn't part of its normal moveset, so it should let me have it a little earlier. I've been a good boy. I deserve it. Excellent. 44. Only took one kill. Nice. That attack plus one's a little disheartening, but hey. What? Iron Tail? Um... 75%? Yeah. <laughs> Wait. Lower the target's defense stat. No, it's it's not going to hit. Let's not let's not kid ourselves. I'm not gonna go for it. Okay, we're gonna do this, and we're gonna get our team ready, and we're gonna use ma max repels to get back up there. Thank you all for bearing with me. Get it? Cause bears in the corner. Do this. Streamer will never shut up about bears on this stream. Gotta love the teddies. Do. Now Doom up front. Make a save right here. Get bared and get beamed. That's right. You know, chat, people have mentioned it a few times aren't to me already, but like, for like a model, I need like a bear accessory. Or we'll just put like a redeem where it makes a big, big teddy bear show up. Legally distinct teddy bear, though. 
Let's see. Remember, Teddy Ursa belongs to Pokemon. Can't make Brandon around Teddy, except Teddy emotes, because they don't care about that. Also, don't talk too loud, or you'll wake the Teddy in the corner. Let me try going down for a second, though. See what they got. Wait, there's more trainers there? Um, I'm better off fighting N. Let's do it. Yeah, 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 dork. Let's fight. Teddy should be public domain because everyone should be able to enjoy and share Teddy with the world. Perhaps. He's got a full team of six. So he's got base Rotom at all forbs. Cool. Okay, let's do it. Go for the Dark Pulse, boosted by Black Glasses, and Discharge. I, uh, can survive. Okay, good. You can't even take me down to half. Nice. Now, we sent out Houndoom to bait the Rotom Wash coming out next. See, the worst part about this fight, you can't tell which one... At, like, first, at a first glance, you don't know which form is coming out. But I have an idea of what he's doing. So now we're going to send out Haxorus, who has Bright Powder, by the way. That could cheese me a free hit. And we're going to use two Dragon Dances in a row. First turn, he'll set up Rain Dance. In second turn, he should try to Thunder or Hydro Pump me, and I should survive. But if he paralyzes me, it might be a reset. Yeah, assume best type matchup first. Yeah, he went for the Rain Dance. Feels a little lame to sweep, but uh, he's using one Pokemon for this whole fight, too, so... Heck him. Okay, I outspeed him already. That's good. Now we're at plus two attack. He's going for Shadow... Oh, the Bright Powder. The Bright Powder. Chat. Unbelievable. Is this really me playing? <sighs> You're thinking of Metal Powder. That's the one for Ditto. Bright Powder just lowers accuracy on the opponent. Okay. Time for the Dream Team kill. Let's do it. Assume he's probably going to send out the, um... The fridge now. I should be strong enough to take it out, though, I hope. Let's get him. No hacks or go. If he goes for Blizzard, accuracy is also dropped by Bright Powder anyway. Nice. Chad, I love this thing. I'm sorry for giving Dino that look earlier. He's out of options. We sweeping. I just had another random thought for a Teddy Ursa emote. I know, I, I, I say these all the time. Imagine Teddy Ursa with a broom, and we do that whenever we sweep. We don't have enough room for all the current Teddy Ursa emotes, so I should stop throwing out ideas. Excellent. Oh, we're, we're cleaning up right now. Ooh, and we just get stronger. Look at that crap. No, you don't need Swords Dance. You have Dragon Dance. Here comes the Rotom. I will show you my love for my friends pre uh, permeates every cell of my body. Get sweeped, loser. Oh, heck yes. My friend's getting hurt. That's what a Pokemon battle is. You challenged me, you dork. Why? Is it impossible for me to win while feeling bad about being a trainer? As if I could pursue my ideals with something as meaningless as a battle. As if that could make me worthy to become friends with the legendary Pokemon. Asprey? Oh, Aspie, just a little further to Miss Twelton City. Ooh, woo. There you go. Bianca, you have good ears. I can't believe you heard Asprey's voice from that far away. Who is this trainer? Professor Juniper, what are you thinking? You appear to have no qualms about the relationship between people and Pokemon. 
You put Pokemon into categories using arbitrary rules and think you can understand them like that. The very idea of a Pokedex revolts me. <laughs> he sounds like such an idiot. <laughs> such a dork-ass loser, N, you are. Look at him. My name's N. You're putting Pokemon in categories? You don't understand. What do you have to say for yourself? Oh my, looks like you're not my biggest fan. Your opinion is understandable. It happens to be different from mine. N is going to storm off, and then he's going to update his Twitter bio to say that he's blocked by Professor Juniper. Which is equally understandable. About How about if all people get to decide for themselves how to relate to Pokemon? You're saying I should just allow people to think whatever they want and treat Pokemon however they want, no matter whether the Pokemon suffer? <laughs> and now he's just putting words into people's mouth. He really is a Twitter user. I refuse to tolerate the existence of a world like that, and blocked, reported, ratioed. And now he's gonna tell everyone that Professor Juniper started the fight. <laughs> well, I didn't expect him to change his mind right away. I hope I'll spend a little time trying to understand how others feel. Now then, I think I'll go collect a little more data. Pokemon and people to get along, we need to take steps to learn more about them. Um, Espy, I was gonna go with the Professor Juniper, cause I'm a bodyguard. Ooh, woo. Alright then. We're pretty much done with that, let's fight you. Take this, it's the winning strategy I've developed. Ren go- uh, sorry. Not- yeah. Reddit, uh, am I the asshole post for N, for, uh, he says, am I the asshole for telling the truth about Pokemon battles? <laughs> Dude, I I hate that subreddit so much. I remember when it was first blowing up, and, like, most of the stories on that are so obviously fake, it's not even funny. That or the person is just obviously leaving out a lot of details. There we go. Ray Dilly. Eh, let's keep going. There we go. Hit him with that Dark Pulse. Whenever I see something from that subreddit, it just, just seems super obviously fake. It's like, hmm, I found a bunch of dead bodies in the basement. My husband says he doesn't know how they got there, but he keeps coming home with blood all over his clothes. Am I the asshole for thinking he might be hiding something from me? <laughs> Update. You guys don't have to be so rude to him, you know that? <laughs> oh, boy. It's almost as bad as those subreddits were... You ever see any of those relationship advice ones? Where it's like... If there's any slight... If, it, if someone even brings up any slight relationship problem... The first... The top comment is always something like... Well, you should break up. You should get a divorce. Oh, Scorched Earth. That's the way to go. What's that? What's that? He doesn't like sugar in his coffee? Time to break up. Divorce him. Take half his money. Get out of there right now. He's no good to you. I pay $10 to a streamer. Am I the asshole for thinking I've earned the right to date them now? Uh, I feel down. There we go. Ooh, sweet. Too bad I have no electric moves. Well, at least that's something. Let's get out of this cave already. Okay. So now that we've finally done this, probably buy some more Pokeballs and stuff. It took me an hour and a half to finish that cave, but it's mostly N's fault. High quality karma bait. Hell yes. Chat, remember, if it, whenever you're having a bad day, whenever you're questioning if everything's gonna be alright, just remember... You're not farming Reddit karma like it means something. And you can keep going. You can do anything. Technical machine departments. Well, those are there. That's cool that I can buy the TM sometime. Might need that for Skyla, depending on how the battle goes. Buy some Ultra Balls for the road. 
the entry or and pass power what in the world is extra uh, entry link it's shut down is what it is i can't use it when a pokemon learns the move hidden power somehow i can tell what type the move will be okay so before we can fight skyla she has to go back to her gym she's at the tower but what is what's here you can run into pokemon here can't you is that only in a different town? Skyla's grandfather was a legendary pilot. He's our city. She's our city's gym leader. She's a nice person. Seem like about this here. Oh hey, how's it going? Hey, Asprey, right? Let's see your Pokedex for a moment. What do we have here? You found 445 Pokemon, eh? Staggering. You've seen Clink. You're becoming quite the trainer. Excuse me. I was a little excited and forgot my manners. My name is Juniper. Cedric Juniper. The professor who gave you the Pokedex is my daughter. That girl's told me a lot about you. It really makes my day to meet you. In honor of our meeting, I'm going to upgrade your Pokedex. Uh, what does he do to this again? Some Pokemon change forms even when it's the same individual. If you have already seen a form, you can check it with this if you want. Oh, is that why they put this, put N with that team right before this? I guess that kind of makes sense, considering it's also Charged Stone Cave. Added a function to make searching easier. Professor, who's that trainer? Oh, I forgot my introduction. Skyla, this is a friend of my daughter's. Asprey is traveling around Yanova to complete the Pokedex. Oh, I see. That means you'll be challenging the gym. Oh boy, I'm looking forward to it. That's right, Asprey. You should challenge this gym. If nothing else, this gym is really out there. See you, Skyla. If something comes up again, I'll let you know. Professor, my plane is a cargo plane. It carries cargo, not people. And you're talking as if places like Kanto and Sinnoh are right around the corner. Ah, Skyla. If you keep frowning, your face might freeze like that, and that'd be a shame. People in Pokemon, we all have to help each other out. See you later. There are only 204 Pokemon I haven't seen yet. Yeah. Sheesh! Hard to believe a happy-go-lucky guy like that could be a world-renowned Pokemon professor. Heads up, Asprey. As a gym leader, I'd be happy to challenge, have you challenge the gym, but there's something I need to take care of first. Just now, as I was flying the cargo plane, I saw something on top of Celestial Tower. I'm sure that is a sick Pokemon. If it is, I just can't leave it there. I'll have to look into this right away. I'm leaving for Route 7 Celestial Tower. Come along if you want. Alrighty. Let's get the items over here first. Sky Drop. Here we go. There we go. Cedric's comment was kind of creepy. Yeah, you think? Well, he was kind of like, oh, you don't want your pretty face freezing like that. Yeah, I don't think he was trying to be creepy, but I think other people nowadays have made comments like that sound creepier. Looks like that's that for now. I don't feel like searching for the hidden items. Hmm. There's plenty to catch here now, but we should also get some training in. Um, Togekiss absolutely needs more levels, so I'm going to put the lucky egg on it. Let's do that. Yeah, switch the item. Now, what are we gonna find in here? Ponies! Okay. At least it's close to evolving. In fact, I think it's like level 40 it evolves, or was it something else? This probably won't kill it one hit, so let's try it. Okay, didn't kill it. Level 40 for Rapidash. I wonder if I should box Haxorus for a bit. Let me see. Use the Great Ball on, it's only Ponyta. Have I seen a Cleffa? Yeah, I've seen a Cleffa. One of the breeders had it. Okay, 166. I should probably box a couple Pokemon and carry around some EXP Sharemons so I can get some extra things. 166. There we go. As a newborn, it can barely stand. However, through galloping, its legs are made tougher and faster. Nice. 
I gotta go back to the Pokemon Center and heal anyway, so... Do this. I probably still need Haxorus for False Swipe in some situations, so I could just put my Low Tick away. Because, like I've been doing the last few episodes, I want to make a big push and evolve some random Mons. Excellent. Thank you for waiting. Pokemon restored to full health. Do it. Might find Rapidash just chilling in the wild there. Let's see. Mm, could get the middle evolutions of starters, but I could leave them until I need... I did just get Leaf Stones, actually, so you know what I could do is get Weeping Bell and... What's your face? Hang on. Let me go ahead and put my main team members at the furthest box so I don't, like, lose track of them. Let's see. Don't really need Houndoom at the moment, so I'll just take this out for two slots. Barrowthorn was decently close as well, right? It was level 40 it needs to get to. I think we should just get the Leafstone Mons out of the way, though, while we can, so I'll take these two. Do that. And experience share is, like, near the bottom now at this point. There they are. Give this to Bellsprout. And I'm absolutely just putting off Evolving, Shelmet, and Carablast. Do both at the same time. With the level they're at, they should get both get there at the same time, maybe. Put you at the bottom. Okay, nice. Everybody having a comfy time right now? I hope you are. You better be. Excellent. This is a certified comfy check. You are not comfy right now. It's illegal to be watching the stream. Oh, Doduo. That one should evolve in one level, too. Will it survive? Try attack. I'm gonna try it. Hmm. My drink is actually empty with that last sip, so I think I might take a bathroom break in just a moment here. Damn it. Okay, I killed it. No problem. Is there anything more solid here? Find out. Do a little stretch. Oh, a palm. Um, could live in ancient power. Should live in ancient power. This thing probably knows double hit right now. Bling. And I'll hit it with yawn. Catch this thing. Take a quick bathroom break. Because I had to, like, awkwardly edit last VOD, I kind of want to go a little longer with this one and make some good progress, you know what I mean? Use up my Great Balls here. Plus, I, I'm planning to take tomorrow off. I say short streams, which just means I'm not going, like, eight hours like I normally do. Six, seven, eight hours. I did a lot of those last week. A four-ish hour stream, and this will be fun. Okay, it's like this... Four hours is short to me. There we go. Okay. There we go. Oh gosh, yeah, you play four hours of video games instead of like an eight-hour shift at the retail store. There we go. Feels short compared to that, yeah? Hang on, 167. Excellent. It lives high among the treetops. It can use its tail as freely and cleverly as its hands. 200 is a bit of a pipe dream, but if I kind of push it, I might be able to give me make some good progress. What's this? Oh! Okay, now we can get Magmordar. Okay. By the way, I should mention this right quick in case uh, it, ha it probably got cut out during the last stream. But, um, I wanted to evolve Onyx with the Metal Coat, but for some reason this game is is programmed that it has to be nighttime for that to work on Onyx. It has to level up while holding the Metal Coat at night, which is a really strange requirement. Oh, thanks for posting a link to the server. Okay, I'll be right back. 
All right, I am back, everybody. Thanks for waiting. I got myself another drink. We're all set up and comfy. This is such a wholesome BRB screen. I haven't used this one in a bit. Demo did a good job on it. Anyways. Oop. Back to getting comfy and cozy. I should probably make my way towards that, um, the Celestial Tower, but... Oh, hey, Cubone. Haven't caught this yet. I was just thinking to myself here... Am I even going to be able to make it to Skyla today? I'm not so sure. Because the trainers could be like a big gauntlet that would slow me down. Maybe I should just... Shouldn't push it. Because if I rush right to her, especially... We're not even counting her gym trainers either. Uh, yeah, she'll probably just slaughter me. Let's be real. Let's just take a look around here, see what we can get, and get some levels. Oh, hey, Turtle. Now, this one absolutely will survive a try attack. I should be using Togekiss against the trainers, not for catching. Clearly, they're all surviving this because I'm too powerful. Okay, good. I'm going to hit it with Yawn, and we're going to catch it. The turtle is sleepy. Excellent. Okay. It's Torkoal. I'm gonna Ultra Ball it. At least we don't have to evolve or breathe this thing at all. I'll just catch it, put it in the box, and it's done. Okay, excellent. 168. Big push. I believe that's catch number 10. Being in the cave obviously slowed us down for a bit. It burns coal inside its shell for energy. It blows out black suit if it's endangered. There you go. Happy turtle friend. Now hold up a sec. Let me do this. Let me see. Oh, what happened here? What happened? Huh? Oh. Yo, are you guys here? Um, okay, so I guess I have to give a quick explanation for the YouTube audience. Apparently the stream disconnected while I was on break, and it, uh, it took a few minutes to reconnect. Oops. All of a sudden I just see 20 chat messages pop out of nowhere. Uh-oh. <sighs> so it looks like Twitch just disconnected me for a few minutes. It was still recording the whole time, so... Okay, then. Everyone's here. Everyone's... I, I just see a bunch of messages all of a sudden of people being like, What happened to the stream? Did everyone die? Uh... <laughs> okay. Well, then. I didn't realize it was reconnecting this whole time. So, chat, all I did is I came back and I caught a Torkoal. And I guess you guys missed that. YouTube won't. Holy moly, that's, uh, concerning. Hang on, what was I doing? What did I open the menu for? Off-screen Torkoal, yeah, that's right. Thank you for getting us up there, Chloe. Right, I wanted to heal Togekiss. I don't have chat on screen for the YouTube audience, because I don't really prefer to do that, but, um... Let me see. But because it was reconnecting, I just got, gum got bombarded with, like, 20 to 30 messages all at once there. <laughs> I thought y'all had just stepped away for a second, because I was just kind of getting uh, settled in. Okay, that's great. It's because the disconnection happened when I was when I went to pee. I didn't even notice it when I came back. Darn. It's probably because chat disconnected, and I couldn't see y'all talking about it. Well, that's fine. That's fine. What am I doing? I'm already healed. Heck yeah, content. Content is fun, content is wholesome. Oh. Now this thing... can get two Pokedex entries off of Evolve in it. I guess we'll catch it. I have a Netball. It's fine now, yeah, it reconnected. This is why I always record at the same time as streaming, because if the stream has an interruption like that, Twitch is not going to save it on the VOD. And... It's better I just have the backup like this, where it's un uninterrupted in case it happens. YouTube gets the premiere secret exclusive content. 
Not loading for you? Uh, probably just give it a refresh. Reloading the site, fixed it for you, fixed it for you. Okay, good. Inked is caught. Let's update it to 169. Um, did I update it for Torkoal? Oh god, now I'm questioning myself. <laughs> I don't know if I did that. 169. Nice. I think I did. Chat wasn't here, so they can't, like, hold me to it. It grows underground, sensing its surroundings using antennae instead of its virtually blind eyes. Well, I can always re readjust the counter when I get the national decks. So I don't care. Sometimes you find more than just strong Pokemon in tall grass. I don't particularly like having the chat on screen for the YouTube uploads, because sometimes people try to be weird so that they can end up in the YouTube. <laughs> YouTube VOD. Usually the, the, um, the apps and add-ons, though, they have ways of filtering out weird words. To keep those people out of showing up on the actual VOD, though. Hold up, let's fight. Maybe I'll try and do some of that when I use the VTuber model, because why not? Go full sellout streamer. I'll even try to tell you guys to download Raid Shadow Legends as well. Burn. There we go. We say Raid Teddy Legends. No, we're not going to call it that. That's like a much later in the year thing, though. Like, those things cost a lot and take forever. 1794. Can't make me download the legends, not even for Teddy. I wouldn't make ya. Time to pay up, suckers. Oddish wants nature power? Good for Oddish. I want a Weeping Bell. Or a Gloom, sorry. Hitmon Lee? Okay, send it out. Please be Teddy VTuber. I can't be a bear. I can put bears on it. But Teddy Ursa is, uh, not- doesn't belong to me. We went over this earlier. Been a fan for almost ten years, but if I did raid Shadow Legends, you're gone. <laughs> That's all it takes. Was it worth it? Was it worth the pennies they offered you? I've gotten- I've said this before, but I've gotten emails from them, and boy, do they love to, like, like, uh, give you a really crappy offer. They love to hope that you have no idea what ads are worth. Here we go. Your smog, keep old moves. 21. Mega Drain, no thank you. Yes. These two should evolve now, I hope. Stoutland. Okay, this one I'm gonna send an Ursa Ring to close combat. Was it worth the t-shirt? Yeah, the t-shirt one was very early on when I was doing YouTube. Like, this was before I was even streaming. Some company was reaching out to me and they wanted me to do, like, a multi-minute ad at the start of a video. And instead of offering to pay me, they offered me a box of t-shirts to do it. And I'm just like, are they serious? <laughs> Why would I do that? Also, he's absolutely going to slaughter the Ursa. Yep. I don't respond to any of those. I just make fun of them and show people. Free clothes. That was like 2015, 2016 YouTube. Way back in the day. box of t-shirts. Yeah. <sighs> what a great deal. Come on, you two. Strong trainer. Pay me in Teddy cards? Okay, now you're talking. That's how you get my interest. Okay, first let's go to 170. Boop, 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 boop. The numbers grow. The children yearn for the bell. Your bell sprout evolved into Weepin' Bell. That's the thing, like, they absolutely think you're dumb. 
For sure. Hang on, let me up update it again. Usually, like, they give the real offers to people who have, like, channel managers and, like, uh, st stuff like that, right? If you're just an average Joe with a YouTube channel, they will offer you, like, nothing. Even if you have, like, um, you know, the same size following as, like, the larger people. They'll offer you nothing, and they're banking on the fact that you have no idea what you're worth. It's a really scummy tactic. Like, everybody does it. I need to use two leaf stones now. There's another pony. Let's run away from it now. What if they pay you an exposure? Oh, then, uh... And I'll pay them by uh, not doing anything. Like they are for me. Ooh, pardon me, I'm hiccuping a little bit. Where did I put the leaf stones? Were they not at the top? Oh, I'm already near the bottom. I thought it was at the top. Well, let's get it then. Dawnstone, Razor Claw, ba -ba -ba. there they are. We got five leaf stones left. Let's do it. I'll pay you in Teddy Ursus. Do, do, do. I pay you guys in Teddy Ursus. In 72. I show that I care and I post little bears. Yay. Victory Bell acquired. Now let's get Vileplume. And just like that, another whole family done. I'm gonna need another Gloom for Blossom, though. Keep forgetting that. 173. Do, do, do. Okay, let's get back to the, the center now and swap out party members. I already caught... Yeah, I caught Pika Squirrel already. Use Togekiss for some trainers up ahead. Oh, Gen 5 encounter rate. Still hoping I bump into something new along the way, though. Guess I could probably take this out. Hurt by recoil, you say? There we go. They're leveling, but they don't need it. Yeah, let's get in there. Hello, hello. Yeah, I disconnected for a little bit. It happened when I went on a pee break there, so I did not notice. I I went back to streaming like normal for a few minutes, caught a Torkoal, and then all of a sudden, chat's like, hey, he's finally back. And I'm like, what do you mean? Let's do it. Chat, are you still there right now? Now I'm paranoid. Let me see. Yes, yes, okay, because... The, the chat window just refreshed and said, welcome to the chat room again. I'm wondering if it had an issue. I'm like, no, not again, please. Um, I think I should take Ninkata. Hang on. And just leave the extra slot for Shedenja. It just needs to get one level, right? So we're good. Take the EXP share. Take the EXP share. Do that. What you're saying is you hacked in the Torkoal. Can you imagine if I ran into a shiny when that happens? I'd never hear the frickin' end of it. No, wait, I'd have the proof. YouTube would be able to see. YouTube is gonna see that I, I ran into it like normal. Only chat didn't. Hang on, I need to go to the bottom. I wouldn't lie to YouTube. Let me see. I mean, actually, I have heard something about that. I think there was a YouTuber at some point. He faked getting a shiny in a playthrough, and people made fun of him for it when it came out about that. I don't know. 
Also, thank you for the sub there, friend. I appreciate that. Pro Sal. Hmm. Compound eyes, a special attack boosting nature, yada yada yada. We're, as, we're very well and cozy today, I would say. Hmm, pardon me. Chat, I have like a billion stories about weird, like, uh, offers I've gotten over the years. It, usually, whenever I release a new softlock video, I get a lot of them too. Hang on. Old enough to talk to me? You're quite the trainer. Take the TM. Oh, nice. Charge beam. When a Pokemon uses Charge Beam, sometimes its special attack goes up. If you're lucky, it'll just keep going up. Okay, let's fight this guy. I wanted to go to the Celestial Tower, but I got lost and stranded. Okay. Hold that thought, hold that thought. Whenever I, like, release something new that d immediately does well, like a softlock video, for the next few days, I will get constant like a bombardment of emails from random companies being like, hey, do you need a channel manager? Hey, do you need a video editor? Like, and 90% of them are basically scams. Here we go. I've gotten everything under the sun, chat. The, 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 the fresh ingredient stuff, uh, your Honkai Star Rails, your... Even the offers for, like, Atlas, for, like, the making an ad for a Persona game or something. I think that was one of the more recent ones. It was like the strategy RPG. And the worst part about them is that, like... Now, obviously, I get so many of them that... it's There's no point in even responding to them, even if I'm saying no, right? Because especially if you try to do that, they try to talk you into it anyway. But when you don't respond to them, you get, like... They, they send additional messages trying to, like, bump the first one, if that makes sense. And it's very annoying. There we go. And they always, like, do it in a way where, like, it gets around you obviously muting the first message, too. It's it's really annoying. That's what I'm trying to say. Untail, keep battling. My email is a buried mess. That's why I have an e a, a separate one for friends and family now. My professional one, my, my Pika Spray one, is just constantly flooded with YouTube notifications and messages like that. There we go. The ones that send, like, fan art and stuff, they immediately stick out, though, so it's not like that stuff gets buried in there. Yay. Let's do it. Another one that I get a lot of is, um... This one isn't even an offer. Like... Here's what here here's a thing. I gotta explain a few things for this to make sense. Say like you're making a Kickstarter indie game or something like that, right? And you want to pay a company to advertise it for you. Now, a lot of those companies don't do a very good job of advertising because what they do, their their idea of advertising is to mass email spam every YouTuber about said Kickstarter. So I have a lot of junk mail that's just like, hey, this Kickstarter's going on. No offer about it, just, hey, look at this Kickstarter, and it just gets buried in my, in like my folders. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. There's tons of messages that are just like, hey, this indie game exists from like a completely random company. And it's just like a- it's basically like junk mail in your mailbox, you know what I mean? I'm talking about like it's the worst thing in the world, I'm just telling you like... My email is just flooded with stuff like that on a daily basis, especially whenever I release a new video. Hmm. Ooh, nice. We getting buffed. Let's do it. Excellent. Manitan fainted. 1665. Perloom. Like, when I say, say stuff like this, I don't want people to, that people's takeaway being like, oh my god, it would be so annoying if I emailed him. Don't don't think like that. I don't want people to think, oh, they're gonna, he's gonna be annoyed if I talk to him. Like, I, no, don't. Trust me. <laughs> when I talk about stuff like that, it's like, you know, it's obvious which messages are from fans and which ones are from, like, you know, just spam. 
Hang on, Aceligor. Let's do it. I can also hit this with Ancient Power. Speed buffed. But he's faster. Oh boy. Pardon me. Can confirm he opens fan art. Yes, I do. I've seen your teddy. Maple Bear. Aceligor is a very speedy boy. Yes, he is. Togekiss getting strong. Hmm. You are not an ordinary trainer. You're a strong trainer. Heck yeah, I am. Okay, I guess we'll update the counter twice for this one. Okay, 174. Or, hang, what am I, what am I saying? I can just go right to 175. So we just got Ninjask with Shedinja. Let me see. Yeah, I have an empty party slot. There it is. There we go. Mud Slap, Wonder Guard, you know how it goes, and Speed Boost. I guess, guess at this point we should head back and peck out a new Pokemon to train. There's Doduo. Can you can catch this now. Hmm. Throw a great ball at it. <clears throat> Pardon me. I think I'm just gonna sneeze here. Okay, I did let it out. It was more like a throat clear. Oh, don't do that. Don't do that. Attack Rose sharply. I'm just gonna run. I don't feel like dealing with it right now. Darn it. Oh! Did I already catch this? Oh, I did somewhere. Where did this show up? It was somewhere. There we go, but I did catch it. We're not getting out of this grass yet. <laughs> Pika Squirrel. It was in the desert area. You're right. Excellent. Alrighty. Excellent. Let me see. No, but chat, for real, I I don't like to always uh, give the impression that people are annoying, because I've heard, I've heard that a lot, especially like if I chew up someone that's uh, rude or something. People say that they're a little, wi <laughs> they feel uh, worried about saying something to annoy me, and it's like, it doesn't matter. As long as you're not a malicious, rude person, it, you're fine. Let me see here. It seems like it, that's such a nothing thing, but I've heard it a lot over the years. There we go. Especially some people say, in general for streams, I'd say, they lurk in a lot of streams, everyone else's, because they're worried they're going to say something rude. That's more of a people thing, I suppose. Just being anxious, that's what we call it. There we go. There we go. Right, going to put these guys away. Do it. I don't bite, as they say. There we go. Um, I, I was thinking of getting something, and I can't remember where the hell it is, and now I'm just repeating, there we go, because I don't know what else to say in the dead air here. Joltix already evolved, because we caught Gavantula. What the hell is it? Hmm. Let me take a peek for something early game we can train again. Wait a second, boxed. Oh, that's where the one I just caught is. Oh, it already has double hit. We hang on, we can just evolve this. Okay. Um, I have stones for those. Friendship after it evolves once. Goldine is a little there. I already caught Herdier and I evolved it. Venipede is an option too, I suppose, but. Um, we could get Watchhog. That shouldn't take long. Same with, like, Babarel and all that. I could also just kind of grab Butterfree. That would be a pretty quick one, too. Metapod and Butterfree, I mean. Ponyta needs, like, two levels, but it doesn't matter too much. Let's just get him done. Maybe make a safety save. Excellent. 
Confirm you're an idiot. No, 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 you're not an idiot. Don't worry about that. Don't self-depreciate, chat. I did that- I tried that style of humor for a little bit when I first started, and I instantly regretted it. Self-depreciation is cringe. There we go. Here we go. I'm trying to think again. I forgot to put the frickin' experience shares on them. Was it... I'm too far up. Come on. Alright, we'll go back around. Still trainers to fight here, though. And also put one on the Caterpie. The Caterpie's only gonna need one battle and it's done. There we go. Excellent. So did I fight you? Raised walkway, if you stand still, you'll have to keep moving. We're just gonna walk carefully across it. What was this house again? I don't remember. Let's see here. I love Pokemon uh, moves like Mega Drain and Giga Drain, your opponent's HP. Kid, if you caught a Haunter, would you trade it for my... Bro, I already caught a Torkoal. <sighs> like YouTube will see, not Twitch chat, apparently. Pony. Pony, 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 pony. And always be afraid you might say something, uh, accidentally say something rude or backseaty. I get that. You see. And to be fair, you know, there's been times when I'm a little too uh, antsy to tell someone to stop when they're just a little overexcited to help. But, like, as long as someone's not, like, outright rude, it's fine. Because 99% of the time, if someone, like, you know, gets a little excited to help and they get a bit back seedy, they, they'll be like, oh, I'm sorry, and then that's the end of it, and it doesn't matter. Struggle bug? No, thank you. Other times, it's like they get told to stop, and then they post a little rant in the chat, and they leave forever. And then it's like, well, you didn't really want that person there anyway. Look at all those zeros. Certified Smeargle moments. Okay, let's grab 176, everybody. Oh, did I go... Wait, what? Oh, t tell me I did not. Tell me I did not. Tell me I did not. Uh, pretend that says 176 for a second. <laughs> the, um, in the counter's files, uh, 176 uses the picture for 177 by mistake. <laughs> Oops. Hang on, let me just beat up this and evolve it, and I'll, we can make it 177. How did I do that? I must have misclicked when I was setting it up. 177 still says 177 as well. They're not mixed up. I think I just mistyped. Okay. Chat doesn't forget. No, you will forget, or else. Or I'll banish you to the Cleffa Realm. Well, at least this happened on a number where we're immediately moving past it. Okay, now it's going to say 177 correctly. Perfect. I hope I didn't do that on another number. I made it several numbers without making that mistake. I still have a good track record. Your Metapod evolved into Butterfree. Sick. I guess now we can just take this off the Butterfree. Fight one more trainer and probably get Ambipom and make our way back again. What if all numbers past 177 are still 177? You're making me paranoid. Don't say things like that. I'm gonna use Yawn and just uh, give this thing a false swipe. Let me see here. Hmm. Let's do this. Do you go to the Cleffa Realm if your life points drop to zero? Absolutely. Mario theme thrash. Oh my god, you're right. I heard it. I heard it. Do 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 do. Boo. Okay. 
Okay, it might wake up next turn. I'm just gonna yeet an Ultra Ball at it now. Let's do it. Two, three, boop. Okay, I'm gonna make it say 178 and there's gonna be no more issues. No more issues. Okay, thank goodness. You had me worried for a second. When it thinks of its dead mother, it cries. Its crying makes the skull it wears rattle hollowly. Oh, jeez, that's a little... That's a little more dark than usual for Cubone. Put it in the box. Orphan acquired. Rotation battles are new Pokemon battles in which the position always change. I will overpower you while you are confused. Okay. Rotation battle, ahoy. Okay, Elmer. Uh-oh. Yo, I didn't sign up for this. And this is why we keep the trainees in the back, everybody. I'm gonna hope you switch to Charizard. Copium. Nope. Worry Seed. Oh no, don't do that. Don't do that. To be honest, the Human Realm is pretty bad. Clefa Realm or Shadow Realm are probably an upgrade. It's going to Skull Bash. I'm going for the Raw Ancient Power Boost. No, he wouldn't switch while in Skull Bash Charge, right? No, he's gonna go for the Charizard, I know it. No, oh, darn it. No Ancient Power Boost, feels bad, man. As soon as I don't pick Ancient Power, you know he's gonna switch to Charizard. You piece of crap. There we go. Togekiss kind of walling these two. And he got a critical hit, of course he did. Darn it, he didn't go to Charizard. I got Serene Grace, so we got a little bit of a boost on that. Wow, he really doesn't know what to do anymore, does he? I've got a one- I've got an ancient power boost, so we're gonna slaughter. Apom eating all that sweet XP right now. Yeah, I knew it. Oh, right, yeah, I have insomnia. Hmm. Heck yeah! Yeah, okay, Ambipom acquired. Sorry, Charizard, you're getting killed. Ooh, not quite. Togekiss solos Kanto starters. Yeah, Serene Grace makes Ancient Power... <clears throat> pardon me. Ancient Power a 20% chance. Did I overthink it because of unfamiliar rules? Maybe. Okay, let's get double hit. When you learn how to use double hit, you grow a second uh, second tail hand. That's how it works. 79. Perfect. Mm, pardon me. Ampipom was such a needed evolution, because Apom was such a garbage, like, single Pokemon. Ampipom's a little goofy looking, not gonna lie, but, like, I like it. Functionally, I like it. There we go. I should make a regional form of those two. I don't think it needs another Evo. It'll just get, like, three tails. Seal up after we change the party out. Getting a lot of Pokemon caught today, that's pretty good. I want to keep adding to that. What can we do? Could go for Golbat. Isn't that like mid 20s? Um, I could also get Lanoon. 
Because we need to press on a little ahead and beat multiple trainers, so... Let's do- yeah, let's do that and get Mighty Enna. Mighty Enna and Zigzagoon evolving should, uh... Or Pochi Enna and Zigzagoon evolving should take a little bit of time. Hmm. Yeah, Ambipom gets a chance to shine in HeartGold Soul Silver because there's no restrictions on evolving into uh, Gen 4 Pokemon, so you can just headbutt the trees for for Apom and immediately like evolve it. They learned their lesson with that in Gen 3, because those who weren't around for the Gen 3 days, like in Fire Red and Leaf Green, you had to beat the post game to even be allowed to trade with Colosseum or the Hoenn games. You were locked to the Kanto decks and some Johto Pokemon for a good while. The game was even programmed to stop Golbat and Chansey from evolving by friendship until you get the national decks from post-game. It'll try to evolve, and then it'll just stop. It was terrible. I hated it. Do that. Well, hidden abilities are changed in this game, so I don't think they really have hidden abilities, just different abilities. <clears throat> Pardon me. The worst offender, though, was Emerald version, because Ruby and Sapphire, because they came out first, they had no restrictions on the national decks, right? You could trade whatever you want at any point in the game. And in Emerald version, they made it that you had to beat the Elite Four and Champion before you could trade for anything outside the Hoenn decks, which was stupid. Okay, let's keep letting Togekiss get, like, one more level. And then I'll just, uh, Lucky Egg someone else. Oops. That grass was shaking up there, too. Oh! Okay, let's grab that one, too. Do a little stretch, why don't I? And then, yeah, once you get to, like, Heart Gold, Soul Silver, honestly, as soon as you're done the, the Mr. Pokemon errands, you can just, um... Hold up a second, I'll fall swipe it. As soon as you're done the errand for Mr. Pokemon, you're allowed to trade. You can trade over a frickin' Turtwig and play through the game with that if you want. Yeah, I got a Magmarizer. I also got Electrizer from the cave, so I think you just have to... They, Electabuzz and Magmar have to level up while holding it. I don't know if there's any other restrictions in this game. Oh, okay. I don't think it can recoil itself. Fire Punch. I probably might, like, do some fancy stuff like that. Whenever I get around to playing the full version, or the new version of Storm Silver, I don't remember what it's called now, but I'm pretty sure Dreano's combining them to make, like, a a crystal version for the DS games as the definitive one. Also, good morning, Kuda. Yeah, we got Haxorus. N frickin' had, um... had a full team of Rotom forms and he kicked my ass. Okay, 180. Let's do it. Aurora Crystal, thank you. That's what it's gonna be called. Yeah, I played Scarlet and Violet. Let me see. 180. Its magma-like blood circulates through its body. Its body's heat can withstand 1,100 degrees Fahrenheit. Very hot. Don't want to give that one hugs. Boop, 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 boop. Another battle. Another Ninkata. No problem. Ugh. Let me run from it. We get into a real battle. Ooh, a Pokedex. I see. That is the reason for your journey. Heck yeah, it is. I'm gonna drink now as I do this. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, I played Scarlet and Violet. That one is on the channel. That's before, like, any updates dropped, though, so... Chugs more than normal. Let's boop it! Let's see now. I don't want to use up all my PP on this, so I'll just use one to try attack. That moth is fluttering its wings super quickly. Okay, 46. I think I should put the other ones up front. Maybe let Boopy do something for a bit, too. Headbutt. 10... I don't remember what level these two evolve. I want to say it's around 20-ish. Nope. Yep. Yeah. 
There it goes. Oh, look, it learns Bite at that level. I don't regret leaving it behind, for sure. Let's hit with Rapidash here. Exactly level 20 for both of them. Puchiana at 18, okay. We should get them in a battle or two, it's fine. Uh, not quite enough. You're gonna take me out? Oh, you're not. <laughs> okay, then. It actually worked to play aggressive here. Oh, the boost. I think that was the last Pokemon, though, wasn't it? Aggressive. Oh, we gotta ooh-woo everything, huh? Embrace the quinge. Let it overtake the stream. 1080. Okay. Um. They're close to it. Hang on. I'm gonna take the lucky egg away, and I'm gonna let Boopy go up front with the lucky egg for a bit. Ooh, it was already always great. This is the thing about streaming chat. I, the most random things will just become like demanded by you people. Lucky eggs right here. Okay, that's fine there. What's this? Oh, do you know or something better? Ah, oh, darn it. Darn flying Pika Squirrels. You know what else is great? Jorts. Jorts, huh? How many of my Pokemon could wear jorts? When they wear them, though, they're gonna look like a Digimon. Attack row sharply. This is fine. Okay, no problem. It's almost dead. <clears throat> Pardon me, jeez. Excuse me, Mr. Streamer, but when are we getting to play through our carnival games on the Wii? Hmm, I don't know about that. That's gonna cost you a little bit more than one sub. Excellent. Another one-off Pokemon complete. Go to 181. 181, 181. There it is. Excellent. The energy made in its cheeks, electric pouches, is stored inside its membrane and released while it is gliding. Sky Squirrel. Excellent. Oh! Right, the shaking grass blocks eyesight, so... We're in a battle now, I can't get out of it. I'll show you our style, my Pokémon and nature are in harmony. Someone said that last time, where you can make shaking grass and dust clouds to block trainer sight and skip them. I thought that was cool. Stantler. Okay, I can take it. Boopy's up front, and they have got the lucky egg. Ooh, I love throwing this in on Intimidate. This is actually really nice! <clears throat> Pardon me, sorry. I'm holding back like a dry throat all of a sudden. Bleh. Jump kick. It's in here, dear. Dragon breath is so useless. I prefer dragon pulse. At least I can use dragon breath for catching, though, because of the paralysis chance. Odor sleuth? No thanks. 16. 17. They want to learn to smell as well. Ambi Palm, send it out, send it out. Here we go. Excellent. I know you're joking, Mason, but like, there have been times when someone does kind of awkwardly demand I play something for them, which is kind of weird. There we go. You use Nasty Plot, so we should be fine. That is the thing in general that, uh, 
is pretty frowned upon on Twitch, where someone just, like, tries to be like, hey, I just subbed, can you, like, do this for me? It's like, no. <laughs> Bro, don't do that. It's weird. Altaria. Yeah, send it out. I hope it doesn't have a flying move that'll absolutely shred me. Oh, it's not floating. He just plopped on the ground. Let's see. Where's the Amnesia Memories playthrough? In the copyright hell, Lorelei. Demand Elden Ring. Dance for me. <laughs> okay. That does remind me, like, there was actually someone that did that a few weeks ago here, I think. Again, not trying to make my sound like I snap at everyone here. <laughs> I don't want to give that impression. There was one guy who showed up, I greeted him, and then, like, in a little bit, he subbed, right? And then, after he did that, very shortly after he subbed, he, pushed, he put, like, a message in chat, and was like, Hey, I'm a first-time sub, can you go do this right now for me? And I'm like, no. <laughs> I'm like, no, I'm not gonna do that. And then they just left, and I never saw him again. I thought that was really weird. <laughs> there we go. But he gave you, like, like, five dollars. Like, come on, man. Wasn't our style worthy? Here we go. All right, puppies of Alvin. Have I played Celeste on my own? Yes, I've beaten it twice. Here we go. I platinumed it on PlayStation as well. 182 acquired. <clears throat> Pardon me. Mighty Ina has has uh, been acquired. Excellent. What do you let your Pokemon have? What is their style? Espear Berry. First, we'll create our own style, because I am hopeless at social niceties and fashions. PP up, saving those for Leafstorn. Have I played Cuddly Forest Friends? That sounds wholesome. I hope it's not an ironic name and it's like a like some kind of horror game. Excellent. Yeah, I'm just gonna run from it. It's not worth it. No, it's legit cute. Okay, good. That sounds wholesome. One battle should evolve the Zigzagoon, so let me just beat this guy, then I'm gonna go back and swap the party for the tower. It takes 20 or 30 years for a tree to be fully grown. We have a Pokemon battle that pleases the trees. Okay, weirdo. Let's do it. He's got a dino. Excellent. I'll take that, but I can't use attack. I need to use dragon breath on you. That's special. Dino's thing went to work up. This isn't gonna matter, it's gonna die. I can't even one-shot Dino with equal levels and stab blast. Stab super effective damage. And now we got Lanoon after this. Perfect. Heat more. Okay, maybe I'll switch for that. I'll let Ursa Ring do it. Stream went down for a second. Yeah, that's why the that's why the counter below the window is uh says a different time. I guess Twitch considered it down long enough to make it a separate stream notification. Goodbye, Heatmore. Oh, I'm close to a level there. No mud sport, please. There we go. Did your best, and I'm satisfied. All right, set the controller down. And I'm just gonna update it to 183. Since we got out of that cave, we've really been getting a lot of things caught, haven't we? Evolving helps. The badger has been acquired. No obstagoon, so this family's done. <laughs> this is what a tree gave me. 
It's a slow business. Growing a tree. No need to rush. Raise strong Pokemon slowly. No need to rush, but this is like a speed run. Probably. Not really. A palm again. No need to deal with it though. Almost got out, got out of there. Not quite though. Need a little drink there. So because we're gonna be heading into the Celestial Tower, there should be a nurse in there, right? So I guess we should take Pokemon that, like, take a little longer to evolve. Maybe I should grab one of the starters. Bulbasaur will reach Venusaur at 32, so... I could just grab that and get Ivysaur after it also goes one level. Yo. I don't need to use the move relearner, re relearner right now, so I'm not worried about that. Bulbasaur is holding a Miracle Seed, so I get an extra one of those, I guess. Badger away. Should I take a second Pokemon with me as well? I feel like reaching Venusaur. Um, we gotta do it eventually anyway. You know what? We'll just take in Bulbasaur. And take a whole... I'll take in Houndoom, because ghosts are in there too. What about the dino I caught? It's careful, has Dark Pulse, Dragon Pulse. Of course it does. Mild Nature, has Horn Drill, Cross Chop, Fire Punch, Lava Plume, Vital Spirit. Wait, Vital Plume gets Effect Spore in this game? Damn. Rock Head on you, Docile, Quirky, Iron Barbs. Oh yeah, Prankster. And you're brave. That's actually not, not a bad combo, right? Cheer Force is on Mawile. I guess that's kind of good for it for the time, but that one's serious. Hang on a second. Put the Bulbasaur at the back. All right, let's go then. Hang on. No, what am I doing? I go down here. Or on any day now. Takes so long. EXP share to the Bulba. Excellent. Now we'll slowly work towards Venusaur as we make our way through Celestial Tower. Hmm. I don't know what other items to give everyone. That's fine. And let me heal it up right quick. Oh, boy. That's usually a Vile Plume's hidden ability, is it? Okay. Thank you for waiting. Restore your Pokemon to full health. Let's make a safety save while we're in here. I think maybe I should grab some more Ultra Balls, too. I can't buy Dusk Balls in this town. I don't feel like flying anywhere. Whenever I stop being lazy about it, I will eventually just, um will eventually fly back and, like, restore the fossils and all that. Those Pokemon are just basically sitting there waiting to be claimed. I've got two coins left in my name. Take this way. Tiny amount of grass. Hang on. Let me see what's in the shaking grass right quick. Another Amolga. Blah. I was hoping for an Audino. That would have been good. Pika Squirrel is not really worth it. Anything behind here? I can't remember. I did say I wanted to catch a good Litwick. We could take a look at that if uh, those are any good. Oh yeah, this music. Such a good theme. They say when you ring the bell on top of the tower, it pleases the resting spirits. Resting spirits? Teddy Urse is resting. 
Does that mean if we ring the bell, it'll, the teddy will have good dreams? Celestial Towers where Pokemon are laid to rest. We gotta go ring the bell for good teddy nightmares. I mean, good teddy dreams. What the hell am I saying? There you go. You're back from the Cleffa Realm. They made you Coco. They're not so bad after all. Lies! Absolute lies. Oh. Well, at least you evolve in one level. Why not is level 30 for evolution, right? Not friendship? I think so, anyway. No quick balls yet, but... Uh-oh. Oh, no. <sighs> level 15, actually? Damn. Shows how much I know about why not. Okay, you jerk. The Pokemon here died. That means they're dead. Dead in video game. Come on, bro. You reading. You reading them inputs. Quick question about Celestial Towers. Does this count as an area where Dusk Balls uh, work better? Don't actually know. Hang on. I'm sure if Nest Ball would be good here, but you know what? It's why not. I'm great balling it. Two, three. Excellent. Okay, 184. 184. If I somehow can, for the next hour I'm going to be playing, if I could reach 200, that would be awesome. Because I feel like I'm moving a lot faster with the Pokedex entries now that we're out of the early game cutscene parts. It grows strong by pushing up against others in mass. It loves eating sweet fruit. Okay. It grows strong by bullying people. What a dex entry. Now I gotta revive. I don't see the nurse yet. There was one here in the black and white 3-ROM hack, so... Look at that. Be healed, little boopy. Got 20 hyper potions. This is what they're for. Of course, it could kidnap bears. No, don't joke about that. You're gonna scare me. Don't give the streamer nightmares by talking about kidnap teddies. Excellent. Indescribable energy is flowing to me. Remember, I just got my big teddy squashamallow, so I can hug that if I get scared, though. This is a spooky place, so we're bound to get spooked. Doreen has a mischievous. Go boopy. I don't really have anything for ghosts here, do I? On a grass type, anyway. And you're buffed as well. I don't think you're gonna have an ice move, though. I should be fine. Maybe I could just zen headbutt you a couple times. Wait, what am I saying? Grass is neutral. I keep... Man, Gengar has messed me up for 25 years thinking ghosts are freaking resistant to grass. Come on. There we go. No matter how many times I say it out loud to remind myself, I always forget. Let's do it. We did it. Bulbasaur is gonna go to Ivysaur, nice. Zatu, okay. Um, this, I, you know what I should do is put Houndoom up front with the Lucky Egg. Houndoom is probably going to get the chance to use Dark Pulse a lot. Intimidate to eliminate. And finished off. Bulbasaur levels up again. The EM, send it out. Beep, beep. Bye, creepy alien thing. I keep forgetting that its evolution is just a completely different color than its pre-evolution. keep thinking they look the same. Houndoom wants foul play. Hold up a second, which one is this? higher the target's attack stat. Um, 
Uh, I don't need Fire Fang anymore. I feel like this is a very situational one, but do I really need three dark moves? Fire Fang is here because I need a physical move uh, when Incinerate doesn't cut it. Uh, it uses... My attack stat doesn't matter, right? Like, I'm using the opponent's attack stat, correct? Pretty sure that's how it works. Fire Fang is just dead weight, and this is getting replaced with Flamethrower. I... I may as well just get rid of Fire Fang, because I don't need this anymore. Just for the situations where a strong foul play is the best play. Because otherwise the other two dark moves have their utility. Bulbasaur is going to hit Venusaur quickly, ain't it? It's leveling up faster than I thought. Energy's escaping. Okay, 185. Look at that little Bulba friend. Look at it. Do, 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 do. 185 collected. It looks like it could indeed learn Flamethrower at level 50. Because Foul Play is in the vanilla games level as well. Okay. Yeah, Boopy can't seem to do much in this place, so I'm gonna put you up front. I'll keep the Lucky Egg on you, though. Lucky eggs for everyone. Hold up. Maybe I should just put one on Togekiss as well, because I don't know what else to put on Togekiss, and it might come into battle as backup. The Eviolite is pretty useless now that the team is fully evolved. You get a lucky egg. You get a lucky egg. Oh, right. Timid. Did I say this thing was modest earlier? I think I did. Either way, it's good. Hmm. Let's go! Meow, meow, meow. This sign means have a battle with me. Chat, you're alone at the graveyard. All of a sudden, a girl approaches you, making cat girl sounds. Run. Well, cat sounds, but y you know what I mean. And now she has a deli bird. What's going on here? Intimidate. Well, I guess we're incinerating. Well then. Better switch out. Maybe I should just let Togekiss Ancient Power this. Never mind, I killed it. Ivysaur is growing. Hmm. Blossom, I should be fine. Blossom trying to dance. I'm gonna go for it. I was really hoping for a high roll there. You've got no priority. You're getting slaughtered. Excellent. Eh. Only five level- uh, four levels? Damn. I thought it would take much longer, but this is going well. Maybe I should take the other starters out. I guess we are at the point of the game where the levels are high enough to quickly reach this. Slowly evolve along the way. At the cost of a little bit of experience for the main team, but it's okay. Oh crap, I didn't heal Houndoom yet. Oh, you? Quick, um... How does this thing evolve again? Is it like friendship at night? I don't remember, because I almost... Like, this is one of the most forgettable baby Pokemon in the whole franchise. Like, who cares about this one? <laughs> I don't remember how it evolves. Like, sometimes when I think about uh, the fact that we got Bonsly and Mime Jr. in Gen 4, I completely forget that we also got Chingling. That's why. Who cares about it? Evolves into Chimeco and evolved with high friendship during the night. Okay. 
Like, what is even the point of this thing? Does it give Chimeco access to any other moves? Chimeco is also, um... Oh yeah, Badoo and Mantike. They're, all, they're more memorable than this, though. Like, you know what they should have did? The reason why Badoo can be memorable is because Rose Raid exists. They should have gave Chimeco an evolution as well. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Pardon me. Hang on, Icon. It's, let me just... <clears throat> let me just update the, the counter right quick. Pardon me. Dreamer is dying. He's okay. There's an orb inside its mouth. When it hops, the orb bounces all over and makes a ringing sound. Chimeco is like, isn't even good. It's terrible. Like, why did Chimeco need a baby form? That's what I never understood. There's also a uh, Happini in Gen 4, but who cares about Happini? Munchlax is probably one of the more memorable ones in Gen 4. Um... They pretty much made them for merchandise, right? Like, they don't really have access to any extra moves or anything like that at all. Emeko should get a big bell evolution. Like a gong or cathedral bell. Hmm... Chimeco, a lot of people forget, is even in Gen 3 because it's in a very obscure spot. Like a 2% chance at the top of Mount Pyre. Nowhere else in the game can you find it. In the wild, I mean. When Pokemon trainers meet, what we do is, of course, engage in battle, don't we? Wasn't, like, Chimeco the only Pokemon that could use Heal Bell when it debuted? Fan. He's got a Leafy on. Let's do it. Intimidate. Gosh, can I not wait to get Flamethrower? The fact that I have to use Incinerate still feels like an insult to Houndoom itself. Four more levels, maybe. Not yet. Ivysaur is getting there. Mill tank? I think I'm gonna let my Ursa Ring take it. Or actually, you know what? He doesn't have the... He doesn't actually have the um, Lucky Egg, so I'll let Boopy fight it. Let's do that. <clears throat> Plus, I'm not sure I could one-shot it at the moment. Oh yeah, everyone's being a good Teddy right now. It's okay if you're gonna step away. We'll survive with one less mod for now. Anyone like some chopped up beef? Mill tank is annoyingly tanky. Hence the name part the tank part of its name, of course. We're good bears. Darn right you're good bears. If you if you misbehave, you'd wake up the teddy. Special attack rose sharply, so I'll do this. Excellent. Slow King. Send it out, send it out. Slow King is just like, hmm. Okay, we're getting bopped. Okay, that hit a little bit. Forty-six. Now what is it? Okay, that's pretty respectable. We're slowly getting my attack stats to 100. A special attack is lagging behind, actually. Man. We really gotta depend on Contrary, don't we? Um, it's Blaziken. Ancient power is neutral. I think I'll just hit him with Tri-Attack. Not Fairy-type yet. Quick attack? Bro, who runs Blaziken for quick attack? That's a throwaway move right there. Can it even get Mach Punch at this point? Or could it ever get Mach Punch? I'm actually not even sure. I don't really think about Blaziken priority because it's in the next gen it gets freaking, um... The next gen it just gets... Ugh. Speed boost, that's what I'm trying to say. 
Or did it already have hidden power or hidden ability for speed boost at this point, but it was inaccessible? Sorry, I can't talk. Oh no, I'm pathetic. Yes, you are. Now give me your money. Perhaps I meet people here because of my guidance from Pokemon. Oh, you want to have a battle with me? All right, I have a strong Pokemon. Blaziken does not get Mach Punch. Okafan, Georgia. Okay, she got a giraffe. Where's the strong Pokemon, though? Houndoom shall be fine here. It probably has random special coverage. Ooh, what if it has Focus Blast? I hope it doesn't. I'm just gonna attack it and hope, and hope we don't have to deal with that. Magby can get Mach Punch, but not the Blaziken. That does sound pretty unfair, doesn't it? Well, we got a Venusaur. Nice. Honestly, it leveled up a lot faster than I was expecting. With the experience share back there, I thought it would take much longer, but the levels are just this high for the trainers, so it's fast. It's nice that we're making progress, though. Mm, almost. I almost never seem to get the critical hit with Leaf Blade. Now, maybe now that I said that, I'll get it right now. Come on, go for it. Kill. Kill. Ah, oh, darn it. Finish it with the breath that comes out of my neck for some reason. Overleveled. Nature power? No thanks. Rose Raid. Hmm, probably hit me with Sludge Bomb. Just let Houndoom take it out, I guess. Houndoom is the one that needs levels the most because it needs Flamethrower. Very, very badly. Intimidate on it. Um, what else am I thinking? The next big one I want to get is Leaf Storm on, uh, Sir, yeah, Superior. I can't remember if I needed to level up for that or use the Move Reminder. I probably should check that finally. Okay, just bop it there. No, I think I wanted to get Aura Sphere on Togekiss with the Move Reminder, didn't I? That's right, the Pokemon's no longer with me. Oh. Oh, okay. Her Pokemon died. She doesn't have the strong Pokemon. A little bit of a dark humor there. 187. Leaf Storm's like level 62 and G normal Gen 5 for Superior. Okay then. The first three deck slots in National Mode are filled out. Oh, hey, Sweet Sense. Easily encounter Pokemon with that. Let's do it. Because clearly we need this. The animation takes longer than just running back and forth in Gen 5. Oh, hi, Ghastly. I already have a Ghastly, but catching this one would evolve much faster, for sure. One I caught was too low level. This one probably just needs to level up twice, and I'll have both forms. Well, it died. Did our best. I took the experience share off the Venusaur. Okay. Maybe I could put that on Houndoom later. If the battle requires it, but... The problem I have with Will-O-Wisp is that it's inaccurate as hell. Like, how many times have you used Will-O-Wisp and it, like, always worked? What are the odds? I think it's like 75, 85, if I'm not mistaken. Something inaccurate as hell. See? Much faster to do this than Sweet Sense. Okay, there's Litwick. I can't hit it with False Swipe because it's a ghost type. 
How much would I do with this? Flame burst. I've gotten pretty content with my Hound Doom now that it has its moves. I don't know if I really want to train a Litwick seriously anymore. Because I probably would, would have just done that for the Ice Gym, but... We're at the point of the game where a Pokemon like a single Pokemon like Haxorus can just kind of like sweep a team on its own. Let's do this. Well, dude, I'm getting a lot of good catch luck today. I have to say, 188, not bad. Litwick shines a light that absorbs the life energy of people and Pokemon, which becomes the fuel that it burns. Let's do it. Time to continue moving up. More psychics. Should probably make sure my Pokemon are healed up, because there's no nurse in here. There's another one. Let me take it out for the quick and easy XP. Litwick also gives EVs for special attack, but I think at this point I've maxed out my effort values across my team. I want to believe in the Houndoom. Is that so wrong? I will guess what you are. You are a Pokemon trainer. Oh, you, she's one of those psychics. Excuse me, sir. I, I'm detecting a psychic feeling that's telling me... Telling me... Are you a human? I, I just have this feeling that you're a human. Oh, I'm correct? Oh, I'm, I'm psychic. That's how I know. All right, this isn't the best matchup, clearly. Oh. That's annoying. Let's see. Hmm. Might want to let Haxorus do it, but I'll just let Togekiss do it. You come swords dance. Boop it with try attack. Serene Grace does not want to let try attack do a whole lot lately, and he's at plus four, and he's a very scary friend. Ow. Plus four faint? Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Break it down. Chat, if you give me $500, I'll give you a psychic reading. I'll tell you that um, you'll dream of Teddy Ursa's, and you'll probably dream of a Teddy Ursa. There we go. Frostlass. You know what? I'll stay in an ancient power. Ouch. Ouch. Ancient power. Okay, it's going hail. Is it gonna spam blizzard next? Stretch? I can do that. Oof. I wonder if that's a thing on Twitch. Do people do psychic reading streams? I feel like... Somebody has to. There's a stream for everything now. Ugh. Most of which I can't, I, I can't say out loud without getting the yellow monetization symbol. 48. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Slow bro. Hang on, I can let Boopy just sleep bladed, I guess. Shampoo bottle reading stream. I'm not gonna do it. That'll be boring. It'll be funny for five minutes. All right. Slowbro gets Drizzle. Damn, Slowking has, like, even less in this game now. You all have been demanding for years I do a stream of reading shampoo labels. So why on earth should I be worried about trying random-ass indie games with a VTuba model? Telephone books. Do they even still print those? I wouldn't do a stream of reading those. 
One thing I did think about getting was a webcam for card pack openings, because people wanted me to do that, but I don't know. I feel like that gimmick would run itself pretty thin. Well, guess what? I guess what you were, though. Just watch me sort my set binders and see it fill up. Hang on, I gotta heal. Hmm. Hyper Potion. That's pretty high level, except for Ursa Ring. It'll catch up later, though. I still want to fight. Wandering Spirits command me. Perfect. Perfect. Psychic Lin. Swoobat. Well, I guess I can just hit this with, uh... My Hound Doom, because why not? I have no idea what Swoobat does. It air slashes, that's what it does. Okay. Kill. I can't remember if that thing has anything notable about its stats or if it's just underwhelming. What always worries me about Pokemon like this is they're probably- they could be packing a random Focus Blast, and you know they're going to hit. Thank you, Tom Tom, for subbing there. Appreciate it. Wait, wait, wait. Hold up. Was that- was that Dark Pulse neutral? Did they make this thing Dark Psychic? I think they did. I guess because it's the Goth Pokemon. And normally it's just it's just discount Gardevoir. There we go. All right, it's down. Ooh, you love to see it. Ooh, plus three to my special attack and speed. Still no flamethrower. Oh, there's Gardevoir. Speak of the devil. Um, I want to say I can outspeed her and kill with Dust Dark Pulse. I'm gonna go for it. Don't focus blast me. Don't focus blast me. She's not fairy type. That doesn't exist yet. She's pure psychic still. Oh, okay. You're not getting faster. Hmm. Dark. Uh, sorry. Psychic dark type. You're gonna super die to bugs. Yeah. Probably so. Let me breathe a sec. The spirits have calmed down. In a way, the Celestial Tower is a space full of desires to live. Alright then. Sounds deep. Will he get Flamethrower today? Find out. No resistances be beyond a psychic immunity with that. Yeah, that typing combo doesn't sound that great. What pleases sleeping spirits is a hot Pokemon battle. I don't know. I'm pretty sure if they're sleeping, they want to sleep. You see that bear on the side? Of course you see that bear on the side. I think he just wants to sleep. Teddy does look very comfy, though, doesn't he? Like, look at him. Actually, look at that sleepy bear. I just wish you could give him a hug, and that would wake him up. Let's keep going. Hit him with the pulse. As soon as I get flamethrower, I'll get a flamethrower TM. <sighs> that would suck. One more level, probably. Here comes the coffin. Chat's full of good bears. They would never wake a sleeping teddy. Scary face, okay. Well, we should all try to be this comfy. Okay, go for it. Wait a second, that's also neutral on you. Is he Dark Ghost? Was he always Dark Ghost? I can't remember. Uh, wasn't he supposed to be pure psychic? I'm losing my mind, chat. How much do I actually know about Pokemon? You better be super, take super effective damage to this. 
It is pure ghost by default. Okay, so it must be dark ghost now. In this game, I mean. Okay, good. You're still pure ghost. Crystal Kaizo has made me fear Mr. Mistrevis. Like, that thing was an absolute menace through the whole game. Buff stats to be stronger. Oh, the nurse is there. Buff stats to be stronger than, um... Uh, Miss Magius in future games. And it just had perfect coverage for everything at all times. Let's take it out. Well, it should be pretty easy to take you out. I'm running out of Dark Pulses, but we'll fill them back up shortly. One more kill. One more kill. Oh, the coffin is Ghost Steel here, actually. Oh, yeah, okay. This is before the Steel Typing Resistances were nerfed. Oh, you did not. You did not. Don't put my puppy to sleep. How dare you. Now Doom is sleeping. The Lucky Chant activated. No problem. I'm just gonna mash Snarl. I don't think it can do anything except put me to sleep because its moves are psychic. <laughs> Please. Please. Oh, thank goodness. End of an era. Goodbye, Incinerate. You are very mid. I'm free. Spirit Tomb. Okay, Spirit Tomb. Um... Gosh, maybe let Boopy do it? <sighs> Probably Houndoom's the best one for this still. Nice. Spirit Tomb is in fact a Pokemon. You can say that it is one. It's it you can definitely say that Spirit Tomb is in fact there when you play a Pokemon game. Now it's dead. Dust Clops. I'm still the best option right now, so let's let Houndoom sweep. It's about to become my highest level. I wanted the damn Houndoom, I'm gonna use the damn Houndoom. Because Houndoom is gonna suck in the main series. This one's got Intimidate and buff stats. I think it had some buff stats. The one I caught's also a very fantastic nature. Okay, you might be packing Focus Blast, but I'm willing to take that chance. Give it the Snarl. Oh, he just barely lived. Lower to Special Attack. No, he's going Calm Mind. I think a lot of these Psychic types are getting walled by my Dark type. They don't have any coverage to deal with it. Let's do it. The end. Is that it? Yes. People, Pokemon, even if the world is gone, that is not the end. I feel sure of it. Bro, settle down. Spell tag for ghost moves. You don't got any of those. Welcome, friends. Let me see. Ursaring is going to need to play catch up soon, but getting everyone over level 50 for Skyla's gym is a good play. You need a nurse's help? Sure, if you can win against me, I'll make your Pokemon healthy. Uh, Sachiko? Espeon. Okay, more Psychic types. Um, it shouldn't... It might have Signal Beam, actually, but I'll just go for Leaf Blade. Nice, two hits. Still haven't rolled any criticals with Leaf Blade. I feel robbed. Hm. Ouchie. I don't think Aura Sphere was winning any battles in this place. It's loaded with ghosts and psychic types. Damn, that's a lot. Get in there. Yeah, I can take a Blissey. I got physical moves. 
I'm pretty sure Espeon could use Power Gem in earlier games, could it not? Come on. Nice. 48. Hmm. Speed is good. Your defenses are good. Holy crap. Beating a blissy with a lucky egg. Dang, two and a half levels off that one kill. It's amazing. Okay, then. Time to give your Pokemon some energy. It's wonderful that each Pokemon and each person can do something special. Me? I know how to make a Pokemon healthy. Okay, then. Oh, damn. Got an encounter right before the, the load. And we're not gonna fight this because it can be a little scary. Run. Get away safely. Yeah, it was like one step away. I always forget how long the tower is, but a hack like this makes it feel a lot longer because the trainers are much more powerful. Well, I already caught the Prevo, so I guess we could catch this. It'll save me the trouble of having to evolve it. Yeah, I caught it back in the desert, so it's a very low level, too. Let me stand- let me do a little stretch. Actual stand up and real stretch. <clears throat> Ouch. Ooh. No, nope, hang on a second. Let's keep hitting it. Hmm, ouchie. Hit it with an Ultra Ball. Get caught. Nice. The Pokemon are putting up, like, no resistance to the Pokeballs today. It's very good. 89. I know this is, like, episode 8, right? But I feel like we've caught a lot of Pokemon for that time. But to be fair, for a full, full National Dex playthrough for something like this, like... It, it is just a matter of time once you have, like, the HMs and access to strong Pokemon and money you can kind of just start knocking off a lot of, like, Pokemon, like, uh, within, uh, within a few minutes if you have the right stones and access to EXP and all that, you know what I mean? It can manipulate opponent's memory. Apparently, it communicates by flashing its three different colored fingers. Like, I still need to fly and backtrack to revive all the fossils I picked up. There we go. Reaper Cloth. Well, that's how I get Dusclops. I guess... No, I found Duskull back in the, the ruins, right? There's Haunter. I could just catch this since I have the Ghastly Pack in my uh, box as well. I'm assuming all trade Evos are just level. Usually they make them around mid-40s or something, or high 30s. Let's go for it. Took a shower. That's good. Packing boxes all day can be annoying work, I know that. Come on. Oh, okay, there goes the hot streak of catching. Can't false swipe this thing. If that's the case, I'm just gonna use up my Great Balls. Save the Ultra Balls for better stuff. Let's do it. Three. Oh, Haunter, what are you doing this for? What are you doing this for, Haunter? <laughs> Gotta get going now, friend. All right, catch you later. Thank you. Don't know if I'm gonna have time for Skyla today. I don't want to rush it because... The boss trainers in this game do not screw around. They This game expects you to have, like, a full varied team with a good strat. And a AKA set up Dragon Dance with Haxorus. <laughs> I probably can do that against Skyla. I don't know if she's going to have anything that can super effective hit me. Oh my goodness, this Haunter, man. Keeps getting to the last damn shake. We just had a bunch of snow here. We had like two snowstorms over two weeks. We're just finally clearing up uh, the, what's left of the last one. Okay, good. Let's go to 190. 
You see, I hope we don't get any more snow here, but I did all my shopping and my grocery shopping this morning, so I don't have to leave it leave for a little bit. In fact, when I hang out with friends tomorrow, they're coming over here. Gas Pokemon. It likes to lurk in the dark and tap shoulders with its gaseous hand. Its touch causes endless shuddering. Oh, don't do that. That's rude. Wait, Teddy Earth is immune. Aha. Cannot make the bear shudder. Normal types. Okay, now that we've done that, probably need to heal Boopy here. Let's see. Watch that Haunter be adamant as well. Well, I don't really need it. Houndoom is my coverage for dark moves. I don't really need a ghost type. Celestial Tower means a perfect tower. Oh, never mind. Let's have a battle. Okay. Beckett has three Pokemon. Magnezone. I just still don't think they gave this thing Levitate, but, uh... Dude, I'm better off just sending in Ursaring to bulldoze it. Get Boopy to, like, level 50 or something, then Ursaring is gonna need that lucky egg, too. Really should just be holding one right now, to be honest. I have multiple. And it's holding, holding the scope lens instead. Dude, seriously? Maybe I'm faster. <laughs> I was hoping. Was not a good switch in there. Just use Dig with Haxorus, I guess. Can Axorus get Poison Jab? I guess, but Poison Jab's not that impressive until Fairy types existed. Okay, we got rid of him. Medicham. Just let Boopy Leaf Blade it, I guess. Here comes Boopy. We're about to hit level 50 here. Yeah, I need to put a, I need to put a lucky egg on my bear and let him get some battles in too. We can put all the real items back on when we um take on Skyla next time. I don't think I've seen Leaf Blade get a single crit today. I didn't get it, but it's still killed. Eddie. Okay, we'll take that. Attack is almost at 100. Almost. Oh, I'll, I'll take that. No more paralysis, but 6,100 and pulse is 9,100. Plus it's stab, so yeah. I've got other Pokemon for catching stuff anyway. Well, Lord. Ah, yeah, we'll keep fighting that. Nice. And Well, Lord's got that Drizzle going on. Lots of Pokemon seem to have Drizzle now. And Drought. A lot of HP on ya. Damn, still no crits. Sending out a Well, Lord would, like, destroy this whole building because it would be larger than the whole room. But. Pokemon logic. Ooh, that's good. You're really perfect. Yeah, there's no reason for me to bother keeping the scope lens on Teddy right now. Just give everyone give everyone the lucky eggs until it becomes relevant. Honestly, I could probably leave lucky eggs on for some of the gym battles too. Haxorus has bright powder on, which actually Literally, the first time it was relevant, it managed to stop an attack from the Rotoms. And we swept in that time. Okay, here's Haunter. We already just got that thing, so it's fine. I may as well finish it off with a level. I don't know why I'm keeping Zen Headbutt when its accuracy has been poopy. Excellent. And quick question, can I get Draco Meteor on this thing as well? I'm sure I've asked this before, but I don't remember the answer. 
The fact that we got to 190 captured Pokemon is really good. 649 at the start seems like such an intimidating number, but we're moving through this a lot faster than I thought. So I think this won't be as bad as, like, Fool's Gold, to be honest. Except when we get to the 1% Legendary Encounters, that's gonna be fun. Level 72 for Draco Meteor. Damn. Pokemon that grew up in Unova and Pokemon that grew up elsewhere both rest here quietly. Okay, then. Well, Boopy is our starter, so they're gonna be on the team. I imagine by the time we reach the Elite Four, 72 is gonna be a very small number. Oh, Rimpardos. Okay. Mold Breaker. I wonder if they changed the stats for this fella at all. Okay. There's no fairy type, so Draco Meteor is just free to spam. Also true. Magmordar. Um. Can Ursa Ring do this? I'm not confident, actually. I'll try a Bulldoze. It can probably take at least one hit. I'll switch out if I need to. But he's close to a level, so we'll get it regardless. Go, Brave Tandy, go. Magmortar doesn't look like it has any irises with that sprite. Or a, spe or a sphere. Ooh, that's not good. Golly. Hang on, I lowered his speed with this. Oh! Damn, I didn't even need a crit and I took him out. That bear's got some power. 6,000. Nice. Yeah, I forgot. 151 attack. This thing, this bear will kill you if you mess with it. Oh, yeah, that's good. That's real good. I'm gonna stay in and switch. Bear working overtime right now. Um... Houndo is probably gonna switch into an earthquake. Oh, he's probably gonna go for a weak move to kill me. You know what? I think I'll switch to Houndoom. I can always go back to the nurse if it hits me. Something bad. Teddy has sheer force, but I don't have enough moves to make use of that yet. Oh, right. Bulldoze gets... You're right. You're right. I'm sorry. Bulldoze uh, activates off sheer force. You're right. That was the big appeal of that damn TM. So it's more powerful than, like, Dig or something? I, th I can't remember what the power of Bulldoze with Sheer Force comes out to. Oh wow, tried to Leech Seed me. Torterra fainted. And now Ursaring's at 46. Big Bear got 4 attack. Your Pokemon are full of life. Hell yes. Pokemon that grew up in Unova, Pokemon grew up elsewhere, all are precious. That's right. Hang on, Shadow Claw. Um, this doesn't activate off uh, sheer force, though, because it's a critical hit thing, right? Oh, hey, Wobbuffet. Uh, could catch this. And then just, uh, not evolve the Why Not anymore. Any damage modifiers don't activate with Sheer Force. Oh, hey, look, I got that crit. Okay. I'm gonna throw an Ultra Ball at it, see if I can catch it. Uh, who could I give Shadow Claw to? Would that be good on Haxorus, actually? Um, but I'd have to get rid of False Swipe. I mean, I can always relearn False false Swipe, right? I need to put it to sleep. Oh, wait, I can't. Safeguard. Let's do this. When it comes time for later in the game, when we're fighting, like, Chantal or something, um, we'll replace False Swipe with Shadow Claw, and Haxorus can use that. They're both TMs, so I can just remove the moves and put them back on as needed, I think. <clears throat> Obviously, that won't be really very relevant for Skyla's gym, so who cares about that? Okay, 191. 200's looking pretty realistic now, isn't it? Excellent. 
desperately tries to keep its black tail hidden and is said to be proof the tail hides a secret. Yeah, don't- it, if you put it to sleep, do the eyes on the tail fall asleep, showing that the tail is the real Pokémon? Can't remember. Alright, hmm. Hi, Mana, how you doing? Let's go back down and heal. Either way, Shadow Claw isn't really needed at the moment. Yay. Outrage would just do more with Haxorus, you think? You don't even need Shadow Claw. That's true. Outrage is that freaking devastating, ain't it? Especially if you just Dragon Dance yourself and get in there. We are making progress. I'm getting close to my promised four hours for the day. Short streams. Oh, you're here. First time we've seen this, it might be rare. Um, I think maybe I should hit him with Tri Attack to put some status on it. Outrage and Earthquake are all you really need in this game for it. Okay. Well, I don't have Sword Dance, I have Dragon Dance. Hello, friend, welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing well. Starting to get dark outside. I always forget that, like, during the winter, it gets dark absurdly fast, no matter how many days go by. Trying to safeguard. Ah, whatever. Did I already activate it when I was looking at chat? Probably. Come on. Yeah, must already be active. I'm just gonna hit it with an Ultra Ball. I can't remember. I saw a bronzer somewhere, but I don't remember if I was able to catch it. I think it was rare in, like, Wellspring Cave or something. Damn it. Safeguard wore off. If that's the case, I'm just gonna hit it with Yawn, I guess. Going for the iron defense, no problem. If I can, I want to get the dex to at least 200 before I end the episode. It's good to reach a good milestone. We have access to ultra balls now, so that's helped. But once we get quick balls, that's the real dex filler there. Oh, nice. Okay. 192, let's go. 192. Boop, boop, boop. Okay. It's brought rains by opening portals to another world. Oh, wait, that's how it does it? It was reversed as a bringer of plentiful... Or, sorry, revered as a bringer of plentiful harvests. I thought it summoned rain, not take it from another world. That's a little weird. Okay. How could you take the cozy rain from another world? Just do that. Okay then, time to give your Pokemon some heal. Alien Rain. I'm gonna put the Ursa up front for a little bit. Team is coming together, team, team is coming together. There's still that path to the right outside of Celestial Tower we can take. Saving Skyla's gym for next time. There's Duskull. We caught one before, but this one would evolve instantly, and then I can use the Reaper Cloth to evolve it again as well. Does that levitate? Yes, it does. Hmm. Faint attack would absolutely kill it. <laughs> Probably would try attack as well. I don't have anything that can really damage it without killing it. It's freaking Duskull at this stage, so I'll just Ultra Ball it. Does a Reaper Cloth require nighttime as well? I don't know. It wouldn't shock me if they made Metal Coat Onyx require nighttime for the Evo. It used Cursed. Oh, it's gonna take itself out if I'm not careful. I can go back to the nurse after this, I don't care. I'm 
I gotta mash A for the secret trick. A, it worked. Oh, I don't need to update the counter. I already have this. I just wanted a higher level one so I can more easily... More easily get Dusclops and Dusk Noir. It's wonderful that each Pokemon and each person can do something special. I'll probably put off the nighttime Pokemon for a while because right now the game is in summer for the rest of this month. So that means nighttime starts much later. So I'll probably just, like, wait until, like, uh, I can do a good evening stream for it. Wobbuffet is not something we want to be fighting. Anything else we haven't seen? Oh, there's Bayonet. I haven't seen Shuppet, though. Now, do you also have Curse? Can't hit me, because I'm normal type. Oh, I got a crit? Of course I did. Good XP on that, though. Couple of steps. Couple of steps. There's you. We already caught you, though. I may as well take it out. Get my XP for it. I took the scope lens away from the bear, and I got the crit now. Goodbye, Sheer Force. Not that it really works right now. Show me them gains, Ursa. Show me them gains. Yeah, they're good. Rest? No, 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 no. The only bear that's sleeping is in the corner right now. Let's do that. I- ugh, Gen 5 encounter rate! <laughs> well, this is here, but... Yeah, do I go for it? I'm running out of Ultra Balls. If you survive this feign attack, I'm eating a ball at ya. Lamp. Well, didn't survive. Goodbye. I don't even have a Dusk Stone yet, so I don't care too much about that. But I could just level up, uh, Litwick once. Okay, here's the top. Oh, right, you can still encounter things up here. Ah! <laughs> what? Oh, that was unexpected. Tell me that was not the 1% legendary. Tell me that was not... It is, isn't it? <laughs> okay, jump scared by Cresselia. I better catch this. Um, see if try attack can set it with a status. No, if I burn it, I'm gonna cry. Haxorus uh, is gonna need to false swipe it, and I'll go Ultra Balls. If I burn it, it's gonna die. Wait, hang on. Does Venusaur have any... It has Sleep Powder. And I can yawn with uh, Togekiss when it's false swipe, so I'll do that. Yeah, I knew that there's 1% legendaries, but I didn't- I thought they were post-game. I didn't think I could find them right now. So you're telling me that I just ran into uh, a 1% legendary instantly on this map. Wow. I'm not gonna save state. That will break- that will break things. I'm doing it legit. It's going future site. That's okay. Oh, that did nothing. Shh, I'm probably better off putting it to sleep first, aren't I? Maybe I should Dragon Dance and hit it with False Swipe. Let's do that. That, that caught me off guard. Sorry, I jumped. Did I jump scare you with the yell? I did, didn't I? I try not to yell, but I wasn't expecting this. Well. Axorus might be in trouble here. This is a wild battle. So, uh... I'm healing. 
People and cats were awoken. I mean, can you blame me for being startled by that? I thought this would be post-game. I didn't think I'd run into it. I didn't even know it was here, but I guess this is a fitting location for it. I'm too scared to hit it with Dragon Claw because I'm worried about a crit. It has Aurora Beam, of course it does. Bright Powder is working. Should've used Dig early on, but too late. I'm scared of it running out of PP, but once I get it down to um, red, I'm gonna use the Yawn and I'm gonna yeet Ultra Balls. Quick question, genuine question, genuine. Um, does anyone know if the Cherish Ball has a buffed, uh, catch rate in this game? Juniper gave me, like, 20 of them randomly. And I don't actually know. <laughs> Jump scared. Oh, you remember how I said I should post more clips to social media? Maybe I should do that. Just out of context, random Cresselia 1%. That crap will get the clicks and make people watch. Yeah. Yeah! I'm thinking that sneaky stuff now. Uh-oh. Fine. Taking the future side attack. Let's do it. All right. We're so close. I'm trying to play this carefully. Okay, it's at red. Now I'm gonna send in Togekiss, and I'm going to hit it with Yawn, and I'm going to just yeet everything. No one seems to know about the Cherish Ball. I have to assume it's programmed like normal and just has the catch rate of a Pokeball. Go for Yawn. I was too scared of burning it with Tri-Attack. Even though I want paralysis in this situation. So we'll just go with sleep. Please, please, please. I have one timer ball. And I have ten ultras. And I have a bunch of all that. Fantastic. Well, YOLO. This thing is usually a roaming Pokemon too. So. Good lord. Okay, it's asleep. I'm gonna mash the A button. Increase the catch rate. Increase the catch rate. Increase the catch rate. No. Damn it. Let's go. Oh. I'm not gonna catch it, am I? This makes me a sad bear. Come on. No. I don't think the dust ball is gonna do anything here right now. Oh! Come on. It woke up slashing. Okay, we're gonna Hyper Potion, then I'm gonna yawn again. Wrong thing. I'm even running out of Hyper Potions. Believe in the heart of the teddies. Show that you care. Spam a little bear. Yawn. Let's do it. Come on, Togekiss, you got this. Fighting for my life out here. Um, I should wait until it falls asleep to use another Ultra because we're running out. Just try a great for this turn. No! No! 
Okay. Here we go. Go for Ultra. It's gonna struggle itself to death at this rate. Come on. Two. Three. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Holy crap. Okay. 193. 193. <laughs> Holy crap. On nights around the quarter moon, the aurora or, uh, from its tail extends and undul undulates beautifully. Whatever, I got it. <laughs> that was wild. I took like one step on this map and I got the 1% immediately. genuinely thought these were all going to be like post-game unlocks, but you're telling me that they're just all chilling there somewhere and I can bump into them at any time. That's going to be rough. But at least we got one of them, right? At least we got one. Oh, you came. Thank you. I was right. I saw a hurt Pokemon. Don't worry, though. It's fine now. I gave it a max revive, then it felt better and flew away. I've actually passed a few locations with some already. Damn. Don't tell me, like, Chargestone Cave has, like, um, Raikou or something in there. Don't I have great eyesight? No matter how far away things are, a pilot's eyes can see them. Oh, that's right. Since you've come this far, why don't you ring the bell? Celestial Tower's bell is for soothing the spirits of Pokemon. Also, the character of the person ringing the bell is reflected in its sound. All right. You rang the bell. Oh, boy. The sound of the bell reverberates through the area. I was mentally preparing myself for the Cresselia to just, like, struggle itself to death, and I'd have to come back, but holy crap. What a pretty sound. Asprey, you're a kind and strong person. It's that kind of sound. I'd like to introduce myself again. I'm Skyla, the leader of Miss Troughton's Pokemon Gym. I use Flying-type Pokemon. When you're ready, come to the gym. I'll give you a big welcome. Goes. Well. While I'm up here... Hang on, encounter rates are actually lower here, so it might be better to spam Sweet Scent, right? Oh, hey, Spiritomb's also here. Maybe we should check this map out a little, little more. Ah, uh, dual bulldoze. One sucker punch. I feel like this one might also be rare here, but... Oh, I, oh, I got the crit? Are you serious? Dude, I took the scope lens off. Whatever. Hang on, how common is an encounter? Well, actually, it's very common. Oh, hey, Absol's here, too. You're level 44. Probably survive this. Double team. Actually, you know, I should just switch to my false swiper for this one. This we're gonna kill it now. Okay, no, it's alive. Nope, no catch. Sucker punch. Okay, let's throw some great balls at it, I suppose. Is my crits. No catch. I'm running out of Pokeballs because I spammed all my Ultras to get that Cresselia. I mean, I got the Cresselia, so I cannot complain about anything else, can I? Damn. I don't feel like switching in my false swipe or just getting the ball. This whole map here just has its own encounter table. Damn it. Wouldn't surprise me if Zapdos is a 1% in uh, the cave. It's double teaming anyway, so... Absol is a little friend, isn't it? Bro, I'm running out of Pokeballs. Let me just throw regular Pokeballs at it because I'm lazy. Mash the A button. Nope. Oh. 
Smash the button. Alrighty. 194. If I'm here to catch stuff, I probably should just put uh, Haxorus up front. 94. Not bad. Rumored to sense disasters with its horn, it became a target. It fled deep in the mountains. There we go. It only comes down when disaster strikes. Okay, I'll put Haxorus up front. Can I dig out of out of this place? Find out after. Sweet scent might be okay to carry around for locations like this where we're looking for one percent. You see. Oh hey, Noctowl. Um that's annoying because I have a massively overleveled hoot hoot in the daycare right now. So I don't need you. I'm running out of balls, so let's not catch the hoot hoot. Or the Noctowl. Shiny Cresselia incoming. Nope. Apsil again. Here comes an Apsil. Everybody get to the bunker. That hoot must be level 60 at this point. Fly from the top of the tower, probably. Now I'm just doing this, even though it's probably taking longer to get an encounter this way. More Noctowls. I accidentally took out the Spirit Tomb. It probably could survive a dig from, um, Haxorus, because I can't False Swipe it if it's a Ghost type, right? Anyways, I don't care about the Noctowl. It's just... I want to see what else is here, since this map seems to have uni a unique encounter table. And we're going to be leaving, so it'll be a pain in the ass to come back again later. Murkrow. I already caught that in the forest. Guess it makes sense for flying types to get perched up here, though. Goodbye, Murkrow. Only 614. Not worth it. Sometimes it's a few steps, sometimes it's a few thousand. Johnny Cresselia. You again. Once again, I already caught these way back in the early playthrough. I just need some dust stones to evolve them. See? There you go. Now we're finding repeats. Dar that spirit tomb was probably a rare encounter too, wasn't it? But it died because I rolled a critical hit when I attacked it with Ursa Ring. Got me Haxorus. Haxorus is a strong lad. I'm gonna be actually upset if I run into another Cresselia, though. I'm gonna just get experience for killing it. Um... Because my 1% luck in Pokedex playthroughs is so all over the place. I really just want to be able to, um, like, catch them. <laughs> but I don't want to run into the one I already found, you know what I mean? It's kind of a freaking miracle I was even able to catch the Cresselia so under unprepared for that, right? Cresselia does not have a great catch rate. Like I said before, in Gen 4, it's normally a roaming legendary, right? So that makes it... They, they make it harder to catch, I think. I don't know if Gen 5 carried over that catch rate or if Dreano adjusted it. Oh, hey, Drifloom. I guess that makes sense for you to be up here. Seems like another rare one. However, we also can't... He'll survive a claw. Can't hit it with false swipe because it's a ghost. 
Swallow. Go ahead, bro. Go ahead. Throw a Pokeball at it. Come on. Stockpiles a few times. I could probably survive another, um... Another Dragon Claw, or could use Swallow. I have, like, no Ultra Balls left. I don't want to waste them on Drifblum. Damn. Six Great Balls. Let's go. Come on. Two. Three. Alrighty, 195. I think that's probably enough for this location. I don't know where Drif uh, Drifloon is. I feel like I may have seen it somewhere before, but I wasn't able to catch it. Um, did I? At dusk, swarms of them are carried aloft the winds. When noticed, they suddenly vanish. How funny. Hang on, let me see if I can use Dig in here to get out quickly. Can't use that here. Okay, what about the sta when I go down the staircase? Why? Why can't I use it here? I guess I'm just gonna have to max repel my way out. Let's do that. Like it makes any more sense than I can dig in a cave and magically be at the end exit entrance in like five seconds. For now, let's just get out of here. Probably check what that Cresselia's got. Cresselia normally has pressure, right? It's one of those legendaries where they just gave it that ability instead of something cool. So this game may have given it something better. I'm curious to look at it now. We caught a lot of things in here. Oh, I just realized, yeah, we're pretty much at the four hour mark of recording. So let's head back. Oh, I want to hit that 200, though. First, let me get in here and heal. Priscilla gets Levitate. That's right. That's okay, then. Yeah. It says I was on for two hours. Yeah, um, when I went on bathroom break, apparently the stream disconnected. I didn't even notice for a few minutes when I came back that it was reconnecting. Chat had to reconnect as well, so no one- I didn't see any messages about it. Okay, we can go over to the next page. Haunter is impish. Wobbuffet has careful with telepathy. Jolly levitate. Mild levitate. Relaxed levitate. Yeah, it's Cresselia, all right. Pretty wild that that even happened, I gotta say. Okay, something I could probably just evolve right quick. Hmm few things I can evolve right quick. You two I have your items for, but you know what I should do, actually? Hang on. Maybe I should take out Shelmet and Carablast, give them both experience shares, so they can level up at the same time. Let me see. That would be wise. Just beat a strong trainer up ahead. Okay. Let me just move Houndoom to the place where I won't lose him later. You right there and go get Shelmet. Because remember, if they don't evolve at the same time, they won't be able to- the other one won't be able to meet the conditions because it evolved. There we go. Okay, Venusaur is done. We took away its item. I don't have Drifloon. And Sunstone, you guys. Hang on. No, I don't need to take two. I'll just take these ones first. Show that you care. Use your teddy bears. Absol had super luck. Yes, sirree. Give them the items. Towards the bottom, we got our experience share. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There they are. 
Someone else is holding one. I don't remember who. I probably deposited them after leveling them up. I always just check with help uh, the hold item view later. And looking at the requirements for each one, 2,400, 2,000... Yeah, they should level up at the same time. They should be okay. Put our bear up front. Just be in case, I'll probably save before I go into trainer battle anyway. Five more and I reach uh, 200 Pokemon caught. I know. That's what I want to do. Since uh, this is the only thing I'm playing, I don't mind doing an extra long one anyway. No, get in there. Get in there. Get, get in there. Forgot I can't use the bike. Okay, this will probably uh, level them up then. Let's do it. Thank you for the bits there, friend. Close combat. Let's get them. <clears throat> Pardon me. Boosted. Okay, they got half of what they needed. I guess it was divided, so that's fair enough. Now, there should be undefeated trainers over this way. Beat up a couple wild Pokemon along the way, though. Here's Napalm. Five more and you reach 200. Bling. Okay, only a tiny bit right there. That's fine. Want to make sure the next trainer battle will guarantee that they um, evolve. Apoms are hanging around here, apparently. Yeah, we hit the jackpot today. That Cresselia was a clip. Again, I should just, like, post that on my social media. Mm. I'm trying to use social media more because, like, you know, I don't want to sound like I'm so business-minded, but, like, as, as, like, a YouTuber streamer, it is a really helpful tool, you know? Instead of just isolating yourself and uploading, like, twice a year. But the problem is it's so unusable lately. I mentioned earlier I wanted to talk about art commissions, and you can't even do that because the word commission just gets a bunch of porn bots in your replies and in your DMs. It was so bad I had to, like, immediately delete the post I made. It's ridiculous. Okay, a little bit right there. Gonna make a quick save here. I see an item up there I didn't pick up. Oh, it's a good thing Minard also told me that they're looking into, like, using Live 2D, because I don't even know where to start to talk to people about using that. Hang on. Wait, what? Oh, hang on, a cutscene? Why? Hey, Asprey! This is your mom, how you doing? Wow, you're on Route 7? You've gone quite far. Say, how are your Pokémon? You can't get that far all by yourself, you know? All thanks to your Pokemon. Don't forget to take care of them. Am I being too serious? We'll take care. Uh, Senior Trainer Mom signing off. Whoa. I'm sure plenty of you guys know lots of artists, too. I don't mind asking. Let me see. And this is a rest house, isn't it? Since her yammering stops while she's cooking, it's another bonus for me. Okay, Grandpa. Granny's meals are always nothing but vegetables. Oh my, your Pokemon team. Seems worn out. Rest for a moment. Oh, boo. Making a delicious soup with well-stewed vegetables. Now that you've pointed it out, Cresselia does remind me of Porygon 2. Cresselia could pass as Porygon 3. Yeah, actually, I, man, now that that thought has entered my mind, it's kind of true. A battle on a raised walkway. That's kind of cool. Yes, yes, yes. Harlequin Pat, Victory Bell. Well, this'll... This dude got three Pokemon. This will absolutely give us what we need. Ba -ba -ba. You know a bit about it, Moon? That's okay. Again, don't worry. This stuff is gonna take months. I don't need to make it happen overnight. When I say it's annoying to use, like, Twitter because of the, commi uh, the commission thing right now, that's not telling me I'm giving up. I'm just gonna give up using it. 
I'm just saying it's annoying because this whole site's broken. Everything is just broken by bots lately, isn't it? Even on Discord, there's every now and then someone can have like their account hacked and then they just start posting spam links in every server. Seen that happen to someone who had their account compromised. Okay, they both leveled up at the same time. Conditions should be fulfilled. Do that. Hitmon top. You see. Togekiss can do it. Let's do it. Keep getting friend requests from people you don't know on Discord. Uh, I, that surprisingly hasn't happened to me, but I don't, I'm not really in, like, many servers you use a lot. Because I heard that can happen if you're just in a lot of different, like, uh, game servers or whatever. Because people will just mass spam stuff. Faint. All is fine. Fourteen twenty-five. Heck yeah. Meganium. Um, uh, let me switch again. Um, geez, I don't really have the best thing here. I'll just try attack. Perfect. Maybe it's Twitch bots spamming you, for all I know. I mentioned this earlier about I, I, how I get a bunch of spam in my email, especially when I release a new video. It's all of them. Maybe it's because I don't have my Discord tag listed on social media or something. I'm sure if I put, like, my Discord name in my Twitter bio or something, I would absolutely be swarmed with a lot of weird requests. Hang on. Pro that's probably the reason. I don't put it anywhere. Hang on. Losing is uncool. No, no, you are cool. Okay, two Pokemon should be right now. Yes. Okay. 196. Excellent. Boopity boop. Yeah. You stopped advertising streams on Twitter because it only attracted, uh... Let me see. Are you talking about bots? Because I had that happen too. That's why I stopped posting links there. Oh, what? oh no. Chat, because the first one evolved, it no longer fulfilled the condition for the other. Come on. That's when the check goes through? <sighs> oh, that sucks. So now I have to catch another Carablast if I want to evolve Shelmet. I leveled them up at the same time, too, trying to prevent that. Well, that's the case. We're gonna have to go back. So much for two for one. Go for a little run. Close, close, close. We have to go back. Or your Pokemon to full health. Oof. Okay, new plan, new plan. Um, I can cheese it with a couple of stone Evos. I have the two grass types of Unova that evolved by Sunstone. I can do that right quick. Hang on a second, hang on a second. Yeah, Cottony. Let's see, put you away in Petalil. Don't know how to say its name, and I never will. <laughs> I will get my 200. I need to end on the big number. Big fancy number. This is too far up, isn't it? Dawn stones, shell bell, leaf stone. Yeah, it's near the bottom. It's one of the first stones you get in the game. Charon gives them to you. Yeah, there they are. I think I also could just evolve the Clefairy with a Moonstone, couldn't I? Let's see. 197. Let's do that. The fact that I got Cresselia out of the way is huge as well. That was just a very, very lucky find. Whimsicott. Okay, use another one. 
I need another Gloom for Blossom as well. I mentioned that before. 198. Heck yeah. Bing, bing, bing. I'm not even sure where Sunstones are in the vanilla game. And now that we've done that, let's open this up. Check for more stone stuff we can do. Do I still have that Clefairy, the one I used in the first gym? I do. Okay, we'll evolve the Clefairy. Any other quick stone evos you guys can think of? Oh, I do have Bronzer. Okay, so I caught Bronzong ahead. Um, I don't have Water Stones yet, right? So I can't evolve you. I have Leaf Stones, but no Leaf Monkey. I feel like I had another stone I've been neglecting, but I don't know what it is. I already evolved nine ta into Ninetales. Got Exeggutor. Was there another one? I don't have Dusk Stones. Can't do you guys. And you guys there. Got Musharna done. Hmm, doesn't look like I can use a stone for anything else. You don't have Ancient Power. Don't have a Remo Raid, but I can just catch Mantine normally, to be honest. Okay, looks like the Moonstone Clefairy is the only thing I really can just, like, quick evolve. That's the case. Let's just take you and get Doug Trio. Why not? Yeah, probably beat up a trainer for it. Strebus is Dawnstone? Ah, oh, no, it ain't. Definitely Duskstone. Okay, let's do it. Actually, you know what I could do? I could just give it the lucky egg and beat up the Ponytas. Hang on a second. Oh, so slow! So slow! Who decided to make the menu this slow? I'm just salty now. Okay, we'll do this. And loop around from the bottom, because we need to get to the Moonstone to get Clefable. There they are. Three left. I used other ones on uh, the two Nido King, like Nido King and Nido Queen. Evolve the Clefairy. By the way, did I mention when I was getting the Teddy Ursa Squashamello, they also had the Clefairy one? I did not buy that one. To the surprise of no one, I only bought the Teddy. Excellent. Yeah, Dawnstone's just for Frostlass and Gallade in this game. Buy it if it's shipped here. I just saw it on the shelf at GameStop, basically. Stretch for not buying a Cleffa? How could you? Oof. Hold up a second. I need to put up, put the mole up front. That mole gotta go. Oof. I'm stretching, I'm stretching. Here's an Inkeda. Should be weak enough to take out. No flopping down Diglett there. Yeah, uh, try the Sucker Punch, but it failed. <sighs> it's gonna take too long to kill you. I just want to take out the Ponytas, and now they're not gonna show up. They're not gonna show up at all. Oh, come on! How much can I do with Earth Power? It's not going to do anything. You know what? Maybe I should just EXP share it. Because now my luck is just, like, not going to help me. We all know it. EXP share, EXP share. There it is. What on you? Put the Ursa up front. And we should be able to still fight at least one trainer over there. 
thought it'd be fine to just go over that way, but apparently not. Stretch like a good woman. We just need one level. And it's Diglett. It doesn't have, like, a very demanding experience curve. Take out the orphan. We need a gun. No crit. 231. Tisk, tisk, tisk. One singular trainer is all I'm asking for, game. Just one. Come here. I love raised walkways. Balancing is fun, so I come here to play. Why do they have these set up? I feel like this is just a safety hazard waiting for children to fall. It also attracts clowns. Oh, hey, Clefable. I can close combat it. Chat, I can't end the episode until a Pokedex counter says 200. It's very important to me. Even if it might be technically off. And I miscounted at some point. We'll find out for sure when I unlock the national decks at the end. Goldock, send it out. The, uh, the Cresselia is not enough of a milestone. I have to. Literally have to do this. He just cross-chop me? Wow. He's gonna kill me. Which is extra lame. I didn't catch a Torkoal off-stream. I didn't realize I wasn't live. It's in the VOD, and I counted it. Okay, he's doing it. The YouTube will see. The Torkoal catch was real. I didn't realize I was disconnected from, this, uh, from Twitch when I was catching it, though. I was talking to no one, apparently. Yodrio. Okay. I'll just let Togekiss Ancient Power it. I wasn't able to catch that du duo from earlier. If I did, we wouldn't be in this issue. Well, YouTube will hear it when it goes on YouTube. I don't, I'm not calling YouTube no one. I'm saying no one could hear me when I was live. There we go. Slash? No. No. I lost, but I won't stop. And number 200. Little mole becomes triple moles. Number 200, everybody. We did it. Two angry moles, and one of them's happy. That's very uncharacteristic of Doug Trio. Why is one of them satisfied? Is Unova just a better place to live? One in three uh, Diglets just like it better? Maybe. All right, now let's get over here. Nope, not going to that shaking grass, can't make me. We're gonna go ahead and save, because I've been live for uh, a little longer than I planned to, but still, not much shorter than a six, seven, eight hour stream that we did last, uh, last week. Oof. Good progress was made. Next time we play this, we have a few more, uh, trainers up ahead that we could easily take out. And then we can try and do Skyla's Gym. This was pretty fun. I definitely enjoyed this week of short streams. Definitely gonna try and have more weeks like this after, an, after some demanding ones. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed watching me ramble for four hours. If you're watching on YouTube, have a good night. Bye-bye.